Hello? Oh my god, there it goes. Okay, hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> if it was not clear, uh, this that wasn't supposed to happen. Um. I was. Oh. So while I was mid running, what's the next question mark? Uh, my the power of my house went out. Uh, honestly, the whole area I lived in, uh, the whole neighbor neighborhood was out on power. Um, so it wasn't like it was a unique thing to just my place. Um, I got the power back up, but, uh, if I, if my power goes out again, um, I might call it quits. <laughs> but that's also why last stream ends so abruptly is because, uh, it cut. Like my power went and I was gone. Anyway, um Hey, does anyone and I wanna actually like play the game now? What the heck? There it go. High speed. Here we are, resolution. The operational heart of solution I. From a re resolution, we oversee the running of the district and provide essential su services to citizens, such as welfare support and job introductions. It's quicker to show than tell, so let's proceed inside. Hello, Panic. How are you? I, I, I mean, I totally already asked that of you today, but like, hey, how are you? You're okay? Okay. Oops, a kiosk. I'm gonna poke it. Oh, I don't get a good kiosk. Is that a hospital? Or is it like an actual like? Strange contraptions everywhere you look. <clears throat> is that a laptop? You got the super glue off your hands. Good, good, good. Okay, okay. What's that? Oh shit! There I moved. Ah, uh, that's the soul capsule cell thing, isn't it? An infusion station. It dispenses souls in exchange for credits. Through hard work, citizens can obtain the peace of mind provided by spare souls. It's the way of life for Alexandrians, and has been for quite some time. But I imagine it must be difficult for outsiders to comprehend. Yeah, I think it's weird. That's putting it lightly. To be honest, it sounds disturbing. <laughs> yeah. Still, I won't dismiss it out of hand. Practices like these don't arise from nothing. Yeah. Th uh, for real, though, th you don't think it's weird you're eating, you're giving souls to each other to, like, keep living? Like, you don't think that's weird at all? There's a reason why your culture is the way it is, and I'd like to understand. Won't you tell us some of your realm's history? I'm keen to learn too. I don't agree with the latter, the bottom one, but. Very well. Be warned, though, that it may take a while. I mean, we could see you. I could see you through and tell you the history of our stars, if you would like. It would also take a while. In the distant past, over a thousand years ago, it said, lightning energy began to swell in our world. Me looking at the Asians. Hmm, I wonder what that was about. According to ancient records that date back around eight centuries, the rainy season spanned a quarter of the year, during which time severe thunderstorms ravaged the land. Four centuries later, this season had lengthened to nearly half the year. The trend continued, with our ancestors spending longer and longer languishing beneath storm clouds. Crops failed and livestock starved. Of course, it's the entire world, so you could go to a different parts. growing desperation, 
A miraculous material was discovered that promised salvation. Electrope. The stuff that's used everywhere here. Indeed. One day, when out inspecting a forest after lightning had caused a fire, a villager came upon a curious black ore none had seen before. Testing revealed that the ore possessed a singular property. It could store lightning and convert it to other energies. In that instant, the scourge of endless storms became a blessing. Dubbed Electrope, the ore found use in myriad inventions and dramatically improved people's lives. Mm -hmm. So much so, in fact, that all nations soon became dependent upon it, despite the difficulty of obtaining it in quantity. Supply was chronically scarce, and when nations couldn't meet their needs with their own deposits, some resorted to taking electrope from others. Mm hmm sounds about right. Fighting was isolated and sporadic until electrope came to be used in warfare. First in the weaponry of invaders, then in the countermeasures of defenders, and then in every aspect of combat where an advantage might be had. This served only to exacerbate the ore shortage, leading to further escalation. Before long, the entire world was engulfed in a terrible war known as the Storm Surge. <laughs> As the war came to a head, Alexandria's neighbor, Lindblom, committed its stores of electrope to the production of a weapon of mass destruction. Mm -hmm. They deployed it on the front lines and triggered a calamity of frightful magnitude. Not even their own scientists had anticipated the force of the lightning that was unleashed. The energy inundated the entire continent. Laying it to waste. This has the Asians written all over it. So that's how your world came to be this way. Sounds an awful like like an umbral calamity. You truly know a great many things that I don't. I should like to learn about you too sometime. Are you sure you want to know? Uh, my 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 history talk will take us like two hours. To continue the tale, the people of Alexandria had already lost much to the war. They lost almost everything else to the Levin. Those who survived bore deep scars, tormented by the memory of loved ones taken too soon. Though they yet lived. The cruel specter of death was with them always. Seeking a solution, our scientists turned once more to Electrope, and after extensive research, they developed the means to preserve memory and souls. Hey, see, now I'm starting to get concerned. Sphine, are you a person? Um... Um, I, I don't know that. Okay. Okay. Again, supposedly it's been at least 30 years since she met Sorrel Jaw. Um, Sorrel Jaw has quite a bit of power over her. Um, and they're talking about a lot about like memories and souls and stuff. And I'm like, are you like a memory of a past queen? Like the last queen of Alexandria? And you're like the AI in charge of like administration of the city but everyone just knows you as the queen like is that what's going on here physical death isn't the end so long as our memories endure we may live on see see she says that and that may just makes me more nervous this about it belief sustained us then and it sustains us now granting us comfort that's quite a tale. Your 
Majesty, help me. I beg you, help me. Oh no. W what's the matter? I've got no souls left. Not a single one. But the lot at Soul Supply refused to give me any. Please, you must do something. My apologies, Your Majesty. This man, he does no work. Instead, he drinks his days away on true view. He has only himself to blame if he has no credits for souls. Hey. That's not true. I'm a fighter at the Arcadian. Or rather, I was. I haven't been allowed to fight because of the King's decree. It isn't my choice. I see. You're a brave warrior of the arena. I want to help you. I sincerely do. But I cannot give you preferential treatment. Then open up the Arcadian again, so I can fight. Mm. I'm sorry, but that's not my decision to make. The King requires feral souls for war. He doesn't wish for them to be expended on amusements. <laughs> You're useless! A queen in naught but name! Hey! <laughs> Insolent wretch! How dare you take that tone with her majesty! It's quite all right. Such things don't bother me, nor do I think ill of this man. Hear me. Though I cannot grant you a soul, I mean it when I say I want you to live. I love all of you equally, dearly. You are as family to me, and it pains me to see you deny yourself hope. I want you to find a happiness all your own, even if you must grow it from the smallest seed of joy. Out there, somewhere, is a reason for you to smile again. Hey, hey, another thought I just had. Oh. What reflection are these guys from? I, I desperately want to know. I wonder if... Surely we, we must we learn that eventually, right? From time to time. I will always be willing to lend an ear. No, I can almost guarantee that the Lala fell... That... Uh, Kryl's Lala fell parents are probably dead! Yes, Mum. Of course. Even without a spare soul, I suppose I'm fine as long as I stay in Solution 9. I apologize for my rudeness. Good day to you. Keep your chin up, my friend. And when you feel better, I'm sure you'll find another way to apply your talents. Okay. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that. Let's keep moving, shall we? Right. I believe we visited all the main facilities. With that, I declare our tour concluded. What about the other section of the city? The man from before. Does that sort of thing happen often? Somewhat. It's unavoidable. Hardships are a fact of life. Our soul management system has sustained our realm for generations, but it isn't without flaws. For one, people have become accustomed to having spare souls. Without them, they feel vulnerable and anxious. Some claim it may also have contributed to a decline in births. Just thinking out loud, but would it be possible to do away with the system? No. I know it isn't easy to change one's beliefs and way of life. The Mamolja had their reasons for their reliance on blessed siblings, much as you have yours for souls. 
But if we defeated Zorolja, you'd be able to make all the decisions, right? Then we could work together to fix things. Restore your realm to where it belongs, and see where we can go from there. Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's looking at us. What is it? Uh, actually, never mind. It's nothing of import. Well, it was lovely showing you around. Uh, of course. Of course. Thanks so much for the tour. We've learned not only about your realm, but you as well. For now, our priority is Aralja. But once we've dealt with <coughs> him, perhaps I can return the favor and show you to Lihola. I'd like that very much. My theory about her being a living AI based on the last Queen of Alexandria, correct? I wonder. <laughs> she seems pretty intent not to say something. It seems I've no choice but to continue down this path. Huh? Forgive me, Val Wuklamat, but I must disappoint you. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like about hunts in my game, game chat again. Whoa, game. Calm down. What was Finn wanting to tell us, I wonder? We'll have to wait for another time. We've been swimming for a while now. We should, should probably go to K Kakia's meeting point. We'll be back the way we came, I think. Okay. I like jumping on things like that and stuff. Generally cares for her people. We can't respect her for that. Thanks to her tour, I've come to bear and the lives of Alexandrians. They don't feel so strange and distant anymore. Ba, 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 ba. We're supposed to go to a place called True View in the Eastern Sector. This conveyor just ought to take us there. No, once you get used to it, they're actually kind of fun. Come on! Okay, I'll jump it well first. Here's what I want to do. Which, which brush is this? Yeah, we gotta change that later. But I did need a new. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Something's no wrong one. No, wait. I keep hitting the wrong fucking buttons. Good job, me. This is the right place, you think? We don't see the others, though. Well, then, sitting away, we might as well explore a bit more. Huh? Come on, look over there. It's a baby. It's the baby, uh, Mamulja from earlier.
Are they blue? I can't tell for sure, Saren. Yes, too. The resemblance of the tesoral jaw. Okay, so they are blue. Okay. It wasn't just a weird reflection from the light. Blue scales of bony one with the features of a hibigo. This can't be a coincidence. At any rate, it would be due to leave such a small child on their own. Come on, let's go after them. Are we gonna chase them? We're gonna chase the baby down. Okay. I, I don't think chasing children around a city makes them very happy or excited to, like, work with you, girl. Cutscene again. <sighs> I wonder if that means the PvP stuff. Any new? <laughs> there's a, there's a graphics card. Anyway, um, I wonder if that means any of the new PvP stuff they'll release in the upcoming patches will be based around stuff from the next expansion then. This is true view. I'm not sure I'm looking at, but it does seem lively. Yeah, there's the graphics card of lore. That building's just still it's just about the only one that isn't lit up. Not all for business at the moment, I guess. Oh, you came up to us on your own. Whoa! I didn't see you there. Hello. You're just a baby. Listen, we don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk. It's been odd, don't you think? They run off when we approach only to suddenly appear. Could be they want to take us somewhere? Is that the way of it? You want us to follow you? So it is the- alright then, lead the way. Okay, kiddo. We'll follow you. First. What was the name? Blue scale Kobugo child. That's all it's saying. Okay. You can grab this. You can go quickly and get that uh, sightseeing thing. I'm gonna come back and do MSQ real fast. the player. I told him that would be a sightseeing log, would it? Oh my god, she's old! Mila, that's the name I haven't heard in a good long time. And dear Silisby. She's my twin sister, you see. I haven't seen her for 30 long years. That's it, so it's a chapter in my exploration of Yasulani. Oh my god! But he's been great to know she's no she as well. Wow. Shit. Well. Hopefully within the next uh, couple hours, I'll be able to let you do that, girl. I'm also interested in seeing what the gear set looks like. The weapons look like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a follow one. But oh, fuck. There. 
All right, kiddo. Follow your lead. Wait, can I? Oh, I can't just do follow. <laughs> I guess that would have been cheating. Where are we going? This way? Neon stain. Why here? Is this where you wanted to bring us? What is this place? We're meant to relax here. It isn't working for me. It's a nightclub, so it's not really for relaxing. It's to go out and party. Hey, what's your name? You're not talk to you. Are you mute, kid? That's okay if you're mute. So you're still not inclined to talk. The only talk to be completely uncomfortable with you. You know him? After a fashion, but never mind that. How about something to wet your whistle? Adorable as you are, it's on the house. I can recommend our special, Her Majesty. I'll prepare one without liquor for the boy, too. Oh, thanks for no thanks. We're supposed to meet a friend named Kaka. 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 We ran into, we ran into the child in the way, and he led us here. Oh, so you're with her? In that case, go in and have a chat with Big Tassos over there. He'll show you a fun place. What about him? Ellie's has been in a mood to talk, so we can attend the bar with me. This is taking a turn for the strange. You don't think you're walking into a trap, do you? I, I think I could take him. Down to this little suspicion written all, all, written all over it. Just, I'm serious. I think I could take it. Like, without with, with just my fist. Hey, kiddo. We can talk later. What is this fun place with me? Is she there? Oh, well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, oh it's this top. It's just got. No, I'll leave it. Oh, we can dye it. And I'll leave it be for now. Once we get the other pieces, I'll uh, put my glamour plate on it. This area is normally off limits, but she's told us about you. Just follow the corridor and head to the room at the end. Let's go, Kiran. Whatever happens, you won't catch me. Catch me being surprised. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Wow, my my chair is making a really weird sound. Wonderful, they're here. Hey guys. We've only just arrived ourselves. Amazing. There's the tower itself. Some other stuff. It looks like a three D printer. Mm -hmm. A hideout tucked behind a drinking hole brings back memories. 
doesn't it? Mm hmm. Our members here are mainly creators and adapters. That is, scientists and engineers who specialize in electro. They use their skills to provide support to our field operatives. Okay. Genoth, Shale, be so kind as to give our friends an overview of your duties. G Genoth? Oh, buddy, I know who you are. Well, there's provisioning. Gotta have supplies to fight the good fight. Blacksmith! No. Luckily, we got the tools to craft most of what we need. This is the guy who probably gives us our armor and shit. Gathering intelligence is another vital aspect of our work. Everkeep's core system is a veritable treasure trove of information. You just need to know how to get in and find it. We also handle surveillance and communications, watching the enemy's movements and coordinating our own. What's hey, what was that about? And among all our activities, we spend a fair bit of effort investigating preservation. What's that? The organization credited with laying the foundations of Electrope technology. From the soul management system to Everkeep's design, they're behind just about everything you see here. It'd be no exaggeration to say they made this realm what it is. But their magnum opus was without a doubt the power which was used to join Alexandria to Tural. Interdimensional fusion. Said mm. power isn't unlike my summoning technique and the magic within Asm's crystal. Yet, though the effect is localized, to be able to fuse realities. Even with my knowledge, I struggle to conceive how it could be possible. Incidentally, the founders of our group, a husband and wife, were members of preservation at one point. Mm-hmm. I don't suppose they'd be too Lalafell or the me 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 Lala? Me Lala, I think is what they called them. Uh, out of curiosity. While not entirely unexpected, given what we have seen, this is still quite the revelation. <gasps> the little wine glass key had something to do with it. Oh, I'm I'm certain now. By the by, that's an interesting earring you have there. A novel way of carrying a data storage device. Eh? What? Excuse me? Oh, you didn't know. No! Well, as a precautionary measure against machine infiltration, we scan everyone as they enter. And when we scanned you, we detected a small quantity of electrope. Though it's been dressed up, that earring is a storage device, and no mistake. Bought it from a shop here, did you? Uh, no. No, it, it, it isn't bought, but inherited. So these people sent you through the portal along with the earring. Do you know aught of them? Listen, Cryo. The husband and wife who founded our order, it's believed that they were Malala. Yeah, see, they're gonna confirm right away. <laughs> Though we have no evidence at present, we can't rule out the possibility that they were your parents. Or perhaps close relations. This I posit because they were the very individuals who spearheaded the research into interdimensional fusion. As traitors to preservation, they were relentlessly pursued. If they had a child they feared they couldn't keep safe, entrusting her to the people of another world might have been their best option. Wolf, my parents. The founders of Oblivion. Tell me everything you know about them, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. Anything and everything. We don't even know their names, I'm afraid. In a bid to elude Preservation's agents, we suspect they erased all trace of themselves. Or did they? If you're interested, though, you're welcome to review our accumulated data. 
Did, are we going to completely ignore the fact that her earring is a data storage? Like, are we not going to check that? Yes, please. As an individual and member of my order, both, I wish to learn as much as possible. I should also like to peruse the data. Where the joining of realities is concerned, I may well be of service. <laughs> of course. Feel free to peruse to your heart's content. Thank you. If you like, I can examine your earring. I have to say, the prospect that it belonged to our founders has me itching to take a look. For reals, though, wait. I dare say we have enough eyes to pour over your records. Is there any other way we might be productive? Poor Ali say, I don't want to read more books! Not right now. We're still waiting for Zoralja to make the next move. In that case, Alice, would you mind accompanying me? Gladly. What are we doing? Bugging it up again. Uh, never a moment's peace. Pay him no mind. I I know who what he's like. I mean, uh Oi! You two there! Why don't you give me a hand, would you? Don't matter who. Huh? Uh, I just remembered I have matters to discuss with Shay. Yeah, okay. Fine. Leave me with him again. <laughs> That's what the evil laugh, sir! If you need help with something, you don't have to evil laugh at me. Just ask, honestly. Alright, what do you want? Sorry I had to see your passion spill over. Happen happens when you put your heart or soul into your craft, you know? I'd not be weird or nothing, but I feel a sense of kinship when I saw you. As if we met in another life. <laughs> hey, Rhoda, as I was saying, I need someone to lend me a hand. I haven't slept for two nights now, passing a week, and I'm wrapped to collapse. Can't afford to, though. Got folks relying on me, see. Time to keep at it. I need to fetch me my favorite energy tonic. My battery's good for two cans. One for yourself, by the way. By the way, welcome. Can't get his stuff at any old vending machine, though. You need to talk to a bloke named Philomon. We'll find him tending a bar out on the main strip. Off you go now. Do we have a counterpart on running around Alexandria? That's a question I would like answered. Were they killed during, you know, all the bullshit? Gonna... Welcome, what are you having? Your chunks that you can't get from vending machines. How dare you just sell such dangerous stuff? Away with you, away with you, and don't come back. Um, got a fat trap? Sleep it to me. Slip it to me, then nice and subtle. Ah, so you're pulling a original can for him and can for you, eh? Here you go. Where's this formula for beginners? Gentle with them, the full strength stuff. It's not crunch or anything, things. So you won't run afoul of the authorities. But if the Rodina Rod Consortium was being aware of my special selection, it's bad for business. This thing is, it's your first time when you drink your talk here, just in case there's side effects. Boo, oh, fine. Damn, <laughs> well, let me try it. You drain the tonic in a single pull. Eh, well that's how you do it. 
The boss led to quit again soon, after which you'll start to see everything more clearly. And then finally you'll feel a roaring surge of energy. People say it's like growing a pair of rainbow wings. Well, yeah, but I haven't carked it, so hurry any along and give Chunalt his tonic. He tends to leave it to the last moment, so he's about to kill over. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> well, I want this ether right, so we're going to go up here. Aw, oh, the rainbow effects are already gone. That's okay. Yay! Bum, bum, bum. Hi, kiddo. Bye, kiddo. Hello, sir. I already had mine, don't ask about it. <gasps> Instantly. Oh, there's a stuff I'd like to like to blow the cobbles right out. With a great big kaboom! Well you can sell feral on me, it does. Transforms me into a worthless beast that won't stop me until it's done what it's born to do. Hey Rose, sorry for sending you off on an errand like that. I just can't consider it without me tonic, you know? The pile of work only ever gets bigger. Sewers so better get back to it, because those ones and tools ain't gonna have themselves. I am done with my busy work. I've been meaning to ask about that Mamulja child. Could he be... Yeah. Suppose. So you think so too. But what is he doing here? He was abandoned, the poor dear. We found him in the drift downs a few years ago. What the fuck? <sighs> to think he cast aside his child. Not too surprising here. Not that he's very blue these days. That being the case, everyone assumes their father and son. Even the boy has put two and two together. This all happened when he was very little, so he has no recollection of his parents. <sighs> it breaks my heart to think of it. What's his name? Do they even have one? Kuluja. Oh! Oh! That's fine. At first, I intended to raise him as my own. But just when I thought he was warming to me, he suddenly disappeared. We searched high and low for several days. And where should he turn up? But in the wilds near Everkeep. What? It's a miracle he didn't fall prey to fiends. See? That's another unusual thing. Creatures don't seem to attack him. He could pick his way through the Thunder Yards as if he were on a stroll. On making hmm. inquiries, we learned that he had been living alone and receiving food from the people of the outskirts. This became something of a pattern. We track him down and bring him back, only for him to disappear again within a matter of days. He would return to the wilds without fail, and once again rely on the kindness of strangers to survive. Finally, I took the hint and left him be. 
giving him the solitude he prefers and lending a hand only when he explicitly asks. If Gulucha is Zorolja's child, that makes him my nephew. Assuming he's willing, I'd be glad to take him in like Papa did for me. Mm, but seeing as I'm here to kill his father, I don't know if it would be right. Uh, I'm sure will be fine. Who was that? Oh dear. It's Galulja. Oh no. Don't tell me he heard everything. Oh, that was my fault. I asked that he be kept away, but I should have taken more precautions. I'm going after him. I need to explain. Wait, Lamachi. I understand your haste, but it'd be best to coordinate a search. Kakiwa, do you have any idea where he might go? There's no telling, I'm afraid. He could as easily be outside the tower as here in Solution 9. If those who can fight would search below, my mother and I will scour the district. Sounds like a plan. Let's get to it. I'm gonna wiggle away. Bubble lady. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oops, I fucking skipped through so much of that. Ah, I got it. No way, no way. Ah, there we go. Gulaja is outside the tower. We need to find him as quickly as possible. If he's used to go getting around on his own, the wilds are still a place for a child. Read. While Kral and Raha are reviewing the data, three of us should devote ourselves to the search. Uh, so the base of the tower and take it from there. I hit the button too many times when I was trying to uh, accept the quest and I actually skipped those. Oh, fuck. There we go. Alright, head in and out. Let's go. Yeah, well, here we are outside. Where do we even begin? First, someone's cut side of a cool jaw. Let's make inquiries nearby. Good idea. You know the outskirts? I would say. In the meantime, Kron and I'll head beyond that big wall. Oh, that one. Tripped out. This is the southwest. Smell those people too, yes? Perhaps they've seen something. Come on. Down there. Cutscene, cutscene, give me the cutscene. Looks like some sort of salvage yard. What's that? Well, let's ask about Gulu Jaja. Gulu Jaja. Gulu Jaja is in here. Yeah. 
You know the boy? Have you seen him? Oh, forgive me, I didn't know you were... No offense taken. My name is Tapu. My ace may be useless, but my ears are sharper for it. I can recognize people by the footballs, including Guluja. So he didn't come this way. Where in the world could he be? I don't know your voices. Who are you to Guluja, and why do you ha why do you search for him? I'm family, though we're not related by blood. His father is my brother. I've only just met Guluja, and then we haven't had the chance to talk properly. Well, I'm about to do something that'll make him hate me, and I wanted the chance to explain. His father is your brother. That means that you're... Yes, I'm Wolf Lamont, Bow of Resolve of Tuliola. I have driven here to bring my brother Sorolja to account for murdering our people and our father. When all is said and done, Bululja may want nothing to do with me. Now that's the lowest concern, Bow will always be there for him. I want him to know that. It tears you apart to do what you must. The quaver in your voice tells the tale. Bululja is head south. There he is a place that is as close to home as he knows. Find and bear your heart to him. Should he turn into a bear's heart to you, accept and respect his wishes. As Queen's Fing respected ours when she granted us a place in our realm in her realm. Yeah, no. Well, none of these people are wearing the the regulator. Uh what do you mean when you say speed and respect your wishes? Out of concern for our wheel being being, Her Majesty urges to reside inside Everkey. We decline only did she gracefully, gracefully accept our decision. She grants us necessary place to make our home here. And since then, she has paid us regular business to see how we fare. Eh, yeah, that sounds like Sveen, alright. Well, thanks for telling me about Guluja. I'll find him and then we'll have a good talk. I mean, there's a couple that seem to be wearing them, but most of them don't. We continue south, it seems. Let's keep our eyes peeled as we make our way. I didn't even know she wasn't wearing it at first. Oh great, we get to see the weird thing that unnerved me when we first showed up. When I first explored this area. You'll you'll see it in a second. It's just beyond here. So yeah, as a reminder, I did go through and collect all the ether currents in this area, so I c I've seen this, this area, this half of the area already, but There it is! The earth cracked open. And the remains of a town. It's a town! And half of it, half of it is submerged. That sure looks something like what we've seen so far. It's more sharply. And there he is, among the ruins. I only caught a glimpse, there's no mistake in that tiny silhouette. Let's hurry after him. Maybe a disaster building collapsed on him while he was inside. I'll we'll cut to the other on Link Pearl and let her know to join us. Cutting? Oh no. Across here. This is the area, but the canals and debris make it hard to get a good view. Let's split up and search. You can head into the canals, I'll make my way through the streets. 
When we find Google Drive, I want let's watch from the distance until he gets to his destination. We we'll want to start a little but start and cause an accident. We're gonna see him, aren't we? And follow him from the canals. There he is. Look how small he is. You look at him. Follow without being noticed. I will hide right here. Should be safe. It's gonna turn around again, isn't he? Yep, there we go. Once he gets past or closer, that set of debris will start moving. Stop right here. Do we go that way or more in? He's gonna go in though. There he goes. stairs now. An empty house? Oh, buddy. Doesn't even have a roof. At least one of the ones that have roofs. If there's anything trying to grow on it. Also makes me nervous. He's come a long way on such short legs. It's a relief he didn't get hurt. What's here, I wonder? <gasps> They're so cute. So looking after those little ones. Lucha. Not another step. Hello? Uh, a sentry? Run, Galuja, run. You know the boy. Who are you? And what do you want? Who's talking? My name is Wuklamat. 
and I've come to talk to Gulurja. Is that so? Who are you? I'm sorry if I scared you. I want to get to know you better. That's all. And you, my boy. Do you wish to speak with them? I heard them talking. She said she's going to kill my father. Villains! I will deal with them forthwith! Sarilja already killed someone else's dad, so... But... I... I want to get to know her, too. It's a little baby. I see. If that is your desire, then I shall stand aside. What the fuck are you? All right, then. Let's talk, you and I. Lots. But, uh, who's the ancient looking and articulate machine? If I look ancient, it is because I am. This has been my vessel for no less than 380 years. Huh? Who are That's you? Otis is my friend. When I was hungry and sad, he came and looked after me. He cooks for me eh, and teaches me all kinds of things. Otis, huh? Like how to read and write and and not be noticed by dangerous creatures. Oh, so that's how he dodges them. The machine cooks for you. And teaches you about fiends. What is he exactly? Ah, how remiss of me. I had neglected to introduce myself. Sir Otis Bellona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria, at your service. Your Captain of the Knights? Ah, uh, he was. You've seen never brought the machines. What's your story? I'm not gonna be surprised. This is not the first. <laughs> this is not the weirdest thing my warrior of light is seeing. And there, I thought it was Gulusha with whom you wish to speak. Not that I'm averse to taking a walk down memory lane. I'm gonna turn on the auto board, but I won't. I regale you. We must take our repast. A meal, here. I hate to turn down food. But I prefer to have this conversation in the back room. Please, I'm really hungry. All right, all right. A repast it is. Just too easy. She's going to spoil her nephew, silly. I'll send word to Erinville so the others can stop worrying. Now, if I might prevail upon your assistance, I shall whip up my most delectable specialty. Here's the thing, if they can extract souls and stuff and all that shit, um... What's stopping them from doing, like, assy and shit, like, putting souls and stuff into new bodies? Like, uh, what well, Gulja is just a clone that was made so that Saralja could eventually go into it, but. Mm. So, my new friends, I will enlist your aid in procuring the greens of our past. After all, the most enjoyable meals are those we make together. And we're happy to pitch in, of course. What ingredients do you have in mind? First of all, some yam and pumpkin. The people in the outskirts should be willing to share their harvest if you and Gulja go and could go and speak to them. Sure. Well, as for the cast-offs, too, as usual. As for Crown, Crown and Elise, I would be obliged if you could procure some in the back meat. 
creatures can be found grazing on the slopes outside of town. As beef is less readily available, their flesh makes for a good substitute. That of the younger ones, especially as it's more tender and less game. Kids are done. We'll be back with the meat before you know it. Thank you kindly. In the meantime, I shall see to other preparations. We. Almost there. What does Ali say? What's up here again? The name sites. All oh, right, the graveyard. I saw someone the other day running around in there. I think they're do they're doing a side quest or they're doing something with MSQ. Hmm. I wonder what MSQ thing you do over there. Hello. I might have been, must have been lucky right there for it not to aggro on me. What's this? I managed to send you a warning for crew with the meat! Yep, here it is. Here you go. Good heavens, you have! It's such a choice cut to this besides. Since planning, you know how to add yourself in battle. For over a hundred years ago, I would have recruited you to the Royal Knights. Ha ha ha! Good luck with that. Well, good luck with past use attempts at that. Once I say brings her portion, we shall have a glorious bounty to satisfy growing younglings like ourselves. Indeed, I expect there will be ample leftovers to share with good, the good folks of the Drift Downs. They always appreciate a warm meal. Now, seeing as you completed your task so quickly, I have another request to make of you. We've exhausted our supplies of kindling in Electrope, and I would be grateful if you could search the houses yonder for more. In the, inclu in the Old Kingdom, Electrope rations were issued to each citizen. While small fragments may still be found here and there. If you obtain five pieces, say at least one ought to do be what we require. That is the kind that converts lightning to fire. Galuja can identify by their circuitry, so pray to take them to him. That boy has been quite deft at dis discarding electrope types in a very short time, I might add. Now off you go, and happy foraging. Ba -ba -da. Not there. Come here. Come here. Come all the way over here. There we go. Nope. Oh, he's right here. Hey. 
It took its sweet time of seeing me. Some more of Elotrope. Electrope. Can't keep up with me. I'm back. Why don't you just use some spark stones or something? Grab a couple stones. Flint and steel. I knew those things would work. Wow, you found a lot. This one creates wind, this one is for water. Chill just like that, I'm impressed. Clever, isn't he? I bet, he get, I bet he gets it from his father. Oh, that's it! This converts to fire. It absorbed lots of lightning, so we should be able to like, kindle a flame easily. Thank you! Please, your kind assistance. We have everything we need to for our past. You've done your part, and now I should do mine. I bid you relax, my friends. The meal will soon be served. Who the fuck are you? I mean, I know you said you were, like, a uh, royal captain, but... This is the kind of things families do, Gulaja. We have meals together and talk about what's on our minds. So you ate with your father? Yes, with him and my- with them and my brothers. It was mostly the head of Resolve, I- and I doing the talking, though. Kona and the head of reason occasionally joined in. And Sorrel just spoke when he was spoken, too. So you have two papas. Does that mean one is yours and the other is my father's? No, no. Both are our fathers. He is what people call blessed siblings. A mulja with two pets. Sorrel is his true-born child, where Kona and I are adopted and don't share the same blood. But that doesn't make us any less family. What matters is that our hearts are connected. Our hearts. <laughs> the of resolve taught me that. Anyway, moving along, I know I'm not from that. Family. Uh, fuck. I have... I'm messing with- sorry, I'm messing with my Aircon unit, uh... Thing. Oh, that explains why it's so cool. There we go. I mean, uh, not cold, so hot. Me. Okay, anyway. You have something like that too? Person you think is family, even though you don't share the same blood? That's a good question. What about you? Something of a lone wolf. No. I do, and they're very dear to me. Alice, are you dumb? Do not consider me family. Rude. I'd like to meet them one day. So, Gouda. I'm going to be a family, you and I. Won't you tell me more about yourself? You really want to know about me? I do. I want to know all about you. Things you love, things you hate, anything and everything. I want to know all about you, too. That reminds me, we're hoping to hear your story, too, Otis. I swear to God, I've heard the name Otis in regards to Final Fantasy in some form. I don't remember, though. As you wish, we were forewarned that mine is a tale that would be long in recounting. It was before lightning had altered the world and I appointed Lord Command Captain of the Royal Knights. 
We were talking hundreds of years prior to the calamity, yeah? Indeed, or there's still that I assume this mechanical form. 454 years ago, to be precise. Then you used to be a normal person? Ah, yes. I was once flesh and blood like you, and prob probably served as a knight of Alexandria. So rather than a machine that behaves like a person, you were are an actual person. How is this possible? Oh, uh, no. This is only natural that you're confused. Here my child to the end, and all shall become clear. Oh, we're gonna have Echo Vision too? I want Echo Vision. Former suit of the Royal Knights was the pretend of the Royal Kingdom, uh, the Royal Family. In my time, there was their majesties, the king and queen, and their only and their only child, her highness the princess. By then, every nation of our side was embroiled in some matter of conflict over Electro. Thus was our kingdom drawn into a war with its neighbor. That war was the catalyst for the great calamity that altered the environment. Countless countrymen lost their lives amidst the chaos, the king and queen among them. For blessing, we were to protect the princess, who then rose to the occasion and brought hope to her people in those trying times. So kind-hearted was her, our young queen that at our, at her behest we even took in refugees from the enemy nation. But her, sadly, her reign was cut short. Like many others, others, her body had been ravaged by lightning, and one day she collapsed and passed away. A tragic. Aye, Nary was our citizen whose eyes remained dry, and many a moon was spent constructing a great tomb worthy of her memory. Yet I clung to hope still, for while her majesty was on her deathbed, the kingdom's finest scientist had successfully extracted her soul. Oh no, my theory from earlier is correct, isn't it? Did we hear that right? Extracted her soul. Our flesh may we then die, but as we are remembered, we may live on. This age old belief had always comforted our people, but as casually mounted in the wake of the calamity, we sought to make it into reality through the power of Electro. In time, we succeeded in developing the means to preserve the soul, and was used to, it was used to spare the queen eternal death. Yet, it wasn't enough to simply prevent the soul's departure. Her ultimate goal was to recreate a person as they were in life. And this, and this, this required that their memories be further extracted from their soul. took many more years of research to make this possible, which time I had become a gray old man. With my days numbered, I did not hesitate to volunteer myself as a suspect for the procedure. So it was I, so it was that I attained this vessel, and by my successful rebirth, I paved the way for those who were created from the memories of the departed. Then they are called. If you tell is true, then the queen that your people brought back to life her name wouldn't be Sveen, would it? It wouldn't be Sveen, would it? <laughs> oh, so you know Her Majesty as well. Why, well, the description of her boundless kindness was appalled in comparison to what you no doubt felt in her presence. I haven't met her myself, I confess. Not since assuming my current form. Well, I wanted to frighten the day living daylights out of her. Ha, 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 ha. Wolf. Wolf. So, uh... <laughs> does that mean she's, like, what I thought she was? She, like, could also be, like, administration program, um, for the city. Um, because it would be fitting for the last queen to be that. So, all this time, Sveen wasn't alive? She lives as she does not. Tis an immediately a difficult, difficult, difficult distinction to make. Having inherited the memories of a departed soul and endless fills, thinks and acts precisely as that person would. In that sense, I believe they are alive. The Alexandrians know about this, right? It can't have gone unnoticed that Sphine is perpetually youthful. No one really knows about the endless. People who wear regulators don't even think about death. Everyone sees that the queen doesn't change, but they just accept it. To them, it's just who she is. Are there endless apart from yourselves? Yeah, how many others? Well, there should be as many endless as those as those who have died. I believe they are limited in what they can where they can exist. 
Queen Speed is unique in her ability to appear before you. Truthfully speaking, I am myself. I'm not an endless. They were created using memories extracted from a soul, but my entire soul was placed inside a machine. Being inside a machine makes you different. How? Well, I do not understand the fire points. My life is bound to this vessel. If it break down, breaks down, that, then it would be over for me, much like the but being in flesh and blood. Hardly an endl endless, unchanging life, I'm, if I'm sure you'll agree. An endless, unchanging life. I can't help but be reminded of the Ia. Now that didn't end well for them. The Kaka... Ka 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 they know this? They know about this and not tell us? Hearing their extensive intelligence gathering, I'd be surprised if they didn't. Now let's share with what we learned with Kryl and Raha. I can't help them have misgivings about this. Yeah, things are looking worse and worse. <laughs> All of the time. Like, Otis, I know you think that it's fine, but like... I don't, I don't think it's fine. Also, now I'm even more concerned about his mom. Nahe? Is that you? Oh, shit. Good gods, Ellen Mespia. It's been too long, my friend. They know each other. Oh, fuck. Where have you been all these years? What have you been doing with yourself? Hold on. They say Queen Sphine has guests from outside the barrier. That's you, I gather? <laughs> it seems so. I'm looking for my mother. Do you know where she is? Your mother? <laughs> Sorry, but what was she like again? Mm. What? It's Kafkiwa. You know, the one Kiwa. who was too adventurous by half? Who, who journeyed with the dawn servant? Hmm. It's not ringing any bells. Kafkiwa. You can't be serious. Ours was a tiny little village. Surely you remember her. I really don't. It's all a blank. Is anyone else here from the village? Okay, is your hair dyed then? Because I doubt. Hey! Huh? Ellen Espia? Mm. I'm looking for Kafkiwa. Where is she? Wh what's this all of a sudden? Who's Kafkiwa? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, or, uh, I was saying that she's probably dead. This... This cannot be. I think Aaron Bell's put it together too. Because, like, uh. It's the top of her memories in the orb. The memories of the departed are taken away. No. Oh boy. See, I was saying earlier, like the last time we were in the village, I thought it was weird that no one, that some of the people that I thought would should remember her don't seem to know who, who she is at all. And I thought that was weird, you know? Just a little weird. Why is it a different. It's a different purple. Why is that the only piece of that's like a different shade of purple? That's weird. Why? It's like slightly darker. That's weird. Anyway. Yeah, I was saying earlier that it seemed weird. 
but... <laughs> Although the mood has become a tad subdued at the end, I thoroughly enjoyed our repast together. We did, we did too, Otis. To hear about the Endless was something of a shock, but we likely, likewise enjoyed your company. Above all, I'm glad that you and I could talk, Kalucha. We're going to get good along great. I just know it. You, you think so? Aha, I'm happy for you, my boy. Now then, I presume you'll be returned to Everkeep. Before you come to you at least part of the way. That's me. It doesn't matter to me if she's an endless. Or that she's alive, like you and me or not. I've seen enough to know that she has a good heart. What worries me is the burden she bears. You still don't know what it is. I expect there will be things she can't tell us. Not with Sorrel Jaw White watching. But at the very least, I'd like to know what the endless are to her. Sorry, I didn't mean to delay us. I just felt the urge to share my thoughts with you. Oh, on the way back. Let's make a quick stop at the Duke Downs. I'm gonna tell Taku how it went. Hopefully she's okay. Like, I... I get nervous with this game whenever they're like, Oh, we're gonna do this or that. And I'm like, hopefully things don't explode. What was this? He who remembers. I'm sure that Gakua got killed by Sorrel Jaw. Like she, she uh, fucking tried to rebel against him, and he took her out. Maybe it maybe it's her death that made Steen go, Oh fuck, I made a I made a terrible mistake here. Oh no. This guy's gonna kill everyone. Let's talk to Tapu. Tapu! Hi! I'm a level 100 passionate biologist. Wow. Ah, you're returned. Were you able to find Galuja? We are thanks, we are thanks to you. All's well with the boy. I'm relieved to hear that. To know the S family have worries for him. Luluja too must be glad. Ah, well, I hope so. I'll try not to rush or force anything, though. That's for him to decide what I am to him. My, what place of surprise is to meet you in these parts? Ah, well. There's Fiend. I'm doing okay. Fiend, what are you doing here? Busy, my people. Are you doing the same, perchance? I suppose we are, yes. Listen, there's something we could talk we'd like to talk to you about. Can we have a word in private? Oh, she gonna leave? Oh, okay, no, we're just saying we're just like saying goodbye. So you know about the Endless? Well, I may not discuss it openly. My people will surely know that I haven't changed for a hundred years, hundreds of years. I've made no attempt to conceal my nature. You may ask who hasn't told you about the Endless. Only a few should be familiar with the concept. I'm afraid I can't say. I bear no ill will towards mystery, mystery individual, unless they be your concern. I am merely curious. Tell me, Sveen, you care for your people, that much is plain. I assume you care for the Endless, too. Earlier, you never keep. There was something you wanted to tell us. Was it to do with them? Uh, 
The only source dear to me is my living systems. They are as much my family. They can only be sustained by meeting certain exacting requirements. Thus far we managed to do so, but since some more people die, I fear we would be pushed beyond our limit. Their preservation demands vast amounts of energy. Energy? I don't understand the workflow at all, but is there something we could do to help? I need a computer to run! And if that computer isn't running, they can't exist. Which is what they need the energy for. But the computer loses lots and lots and lots of energy, which is probably why this thunder barrier exists. But the thunder barrier also negatively affects the living citizens, which means it's a lose-lose. You know, it's like a lose-win on either end. We lose one set of citizens in favor of the other. Oof. Then... Would you be willing to become Alexandrian citizens? What? I have my nation, my people to protect. I can't just become Alexandrian. Indeed, I suppose you cannot. First you tell us to make peace, then you tell us to go home. What exactly is it that you want? Same as you, of course, to protect my people. Tell us more about the energy that the Endless need. How? That I cannot say. I do not see understand or like me, but I wish... I wish that we had been born on the same side of it. Hey, what do you mean by that? Wait, Spin! Damn it. Well, I think we've kept everyone waiting long enough. Let's continue on to the Everkeep. And let's not tell Otis about our conversation with Fiend. I don't want to risk causing him pain. <laughs> oh, they're having they're having the, the trains. The hunt trains coming coming through here right now. Right, let's go up to MSQ. So, here's my thoughts. Either we're going to end up coming into conflict with Sphine really soon, or we're going to end up getting in conflict with Sphine after we take care of, take out Sorrel Jaw. Uh, her desperation to do so with her, about her citizens. That's, that's my guess about where this is going. Why don't you come with us? You might get to see Sphin. Ah, tis a magnanimous and much appreciated offer, but I must decline. Why? A part of me longs for an audience with Her Majesty, it is true. Yet, though it be in my previous life, I failed to protect my queen. I couldn't bear to show my face before her. Such an uncomely one, besides. <laughs> All right. If that's how you feel, we won't force you. But rest assured, we'll visit with Gulurja, and we hope you'll cook for us again. It would be my pleasure. You are welcome to bring other comrades, should you so desire. The more, the merrier. Looking all over for you. Huh? What? Nostalgia? Oh, fucking! Are you kidding me? Nostalgia, was it? What's the matter? Where's your sister? <sighs> it's Zeralja. He marches to Vanguard. Well, fuck. So he's done waiting. But why weren't we alerted sooner? Yeah. Our transmissions are being jammed. The lookouts couldn't get through to us. But 
Wyakoy is at Vanguard too, but I can't reach her. Oh no, they're gonna kill her, aren't they? What are we to do? I knew it! I said earlier that they were gonna flag, put a flag, death flag on her, and I. Mm -hmm. Stay calm. Kafkiwa has yet to be alerted, yes? Take her to the back room as fast as you can. Our link pearls may still work. I'll try contacting those in Tuliolo. Oris, I need you to keep Gulurja safe. You needn't ask. I want to go with you. No, it's not Absolutely safe, buddy. Not. The battle's no place for you. That place won't be safe for you, buddy. Kuruja, the people of the outskirts must be evacuated. For this crucial task, I require your assistance. Here we go. Remember, when battle is at hand, anything. Caution is as valuable as any blade. Yes, sir. I managed to get hold of Alphano. He'll inform Kona. Oh, that's good. Good. How's the situation in Tulisola? There's nothing to worry about, or so my brother assured me. With such short notice, though, I doubt they'll be fully prepared. They'll be ready, I'm sure of it. A vow of reasons not to be underestimated. Well, they were smart, they would have set up some more of those uh, etheric cannons. <laughs> and start prepping the fire. I'm coming, Sorolja. And we will finish this once and for all. I'm gonna punch him in the face. It will be satisfying. I will take delight in it because I hate his guts. Walk into, walk into. Come on. Oh, I, I'm already in the sanctuary. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go. Cutscene time! Cutscene time! Before we get going, I request to make of you. We confront Sorrel Jai, you must let me face him alone. That seems like a terrible idea, but okay! No, that's far too dangerous. Why put, uh, put you at such risk if we don't have to? We have two priorities. The first is to hold Sir Alja within the dome and park Tuliola. The second is to free Wawaki if she's been captured. To make sure we succeed, I need to play the worthy four for Sir Alja. If I come at him, at him with the help, with help we'll likely lose interest and proceed with the attack on the scene. That's why it needs to be a duel. Even if Tuliola is better prepared this time, it's true that it would be best to avoid another battle. I'm feeling that we might at least weaken Sorrel Jaw. Rest assured, I'm not going into this without a strategy. Our time in the dome is giving us invaluable insights into the Alexandrian, Alexandrian culture. We use the regulators for one, the secret of Sorrel Jaw's strength. What do you mean, too? That's right. If I destroy his regulator, he'll be unable to draw upon souls. We'll see how much he wants to duel after that. So will you leave Sir Old Jaw to me? We'll be in you, Lama Chi. Thank you. Sure, this is your fight. Now you should handle it as your decision. But if we see you struggling or Sir Old Jaw attempts to call upon his minions, we will go to your aid. Ha! Huh, fair enough. Knowing you'll be there, I can give it to my all. Fair with Kona, I'll keep Kuliola safe. Da, 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 da. Cut scenes, cut scenes, baby. This is probably like ten to twenty minutes worth of cutscenes.
So it begins. The rain went away. right there. Hello. She needs help. You disappoint me, Wuklamat. We are foes, yet you had my admiration for defeating father and claiming the throne. But instead of coming for me, you gallivant with the resistance. Do I intimidate you? No, she's getting information, idiot. To beat you. I am here, brother. I did not run nor hide. I have come to kill you. Let her go. Your quarrel is with me. And will you settle it one on one? Or call upon all and sundry yet again? Not that it would make any difference. We'll see about that. No. Like Papa did, I'll face you alone. <laughs> really? You believe you stand a chance? Have you forgotten how it ended, Father? I remember you couldn't win without relying on other people's souls. Alone, I may be weak. But so are you. <laughs> so be it. Do not regret your decision. Release her. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, oh no, they're gonna shoot her. They're gonna shoot her. They're gonna shoot They're gonna shoot her. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's flag averted for now. Who? <sighs> Had you let her die, you could have dealt me a telling blow. Your compassion will be the end of you. I'm not letting anyone else die. Yeah, let's kill him. Fuck his shit up. And you, you will never surpass Papa. Yeah, because you're a coward and a weakling and what I have with these very hands, I slew him. And you'll be remembered as a tyrant. He'll he'll be remembered with fondness and, and joy. His body may be gone, but his spirit lives on in us. The Yokoi's delusion is catching, I see. It's no delusion. Papa's love for truly your love. Gives me strength even now. Ah! Hey, I get fucked. Come, let's get this over with for my people and Spines. How gullible you are! All of this is Spines doing. Her objective is to harvest all life outside the barrier. Our interests happen to align. Hence, our alliance. Yeah, I feel like there's something up. Liar! Steen would never do that! The King of Resolve speaks the truth. How did she... She's one then, but she can just teleport wherever she wants, I I'm guessing. The attack on Tural was no less my desire than Zoralja's. Uh-huh. You said you wanted none of this. It was a farce from the very start. Yes. I used you. So it was all just a lie then? What you said about loving your people as family? About wanting to see them smile? 
I do this for them. No, we're doing this for the endless. I'm sorry I deceived you, but I had no choice. If I'm to save my people, I must take the lives of yours. You don't know that, but okay, girl. Behold, Wuglamat, the benevolent Queen's Fiend. In illusion that orchestrated a massacre. Yeah, I kind of wondered how she was physically there when she was like, you know. Or machine, or whatever you are now, you bear the memories of the person you once were. You should still have a heart. Yeah, see, I. Do you speak of slaughtering my people? Do you feel nothing? If she says no, she's clearly fucking lying. But nothing is dearer to me than my people. It matters not whether they are living or endless. As queen, I will do anything to protect them. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, could you have held fast to that which is dear without sacrifice? What exactly do you seek to do? What are you protecting your people from? Death, that's it. She's scared of them all dying. You waste your words. There is no turning back. Hey! Cheap ass tricks. The strength that the love of Tuli Yula lends you. A weak ruler walks a path of ruin. Tell me, which of us is worthy of their throne? I mean, you only found the gate after everyone else did. Yeah, like, fuck him up. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck that shit up. It's broken! Hell yeah. Get destroyed, asshole. You can't rely on souls anymore. It's over. Don't think you've won yet. Oh, no. Far from it. Give the order to the fleet. Raise Tuli Yolol to the ground and harvest every last soul. It is over for Tuli Yolol. I have a feeling things are gonna go the way he wants them to. <laughs> Tell me you've forgotten. I'm not the only Dawn servant. Wait, fuck! I just remembered something. At the very start of the fucking expansion, they there was they specifically made mention of shield ge shield generators that are specifically made to protect the ship from being hit by lightning. And these guys use lightning. <laughs> Literally, all they have to do is set up a few of those, and I bet I bet these serial cannons can go right through that. <laughs> Sorry. That's my guess of what's gonna happen is that the lightning generator the light the generators they put on ships, the ships that go to Toyola, are gonna be put around the city. Oh have fun.
Well, these guys are gonna get fucked up by a Sinian, but... <laughs> I say you're enjoying yourself. I'm Head Sauro. Nothing gets a hunter's blood pumping like a little danger. Well, now, it seems we have that in common. I haven't felt this alive in a good while. Blow him up. <laughs> Get fucked. Nice. That's the spirit. We promised Balcona we deliver him a mountain of scrap, and I'm not about to let these hollow men make a liar out of me. Oh, the fly ones are about to get destroyed by a Sinian. Yep, there, there he is. You bounce off of them. The ones below are yours. You got it. I'm on the Sinian. Wait, what do you mean below? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see that every day. And th these are the people here. Hey, hey, uh, oh, the now they show up finally. Hi, Thancred. We were wondering where you were. Hardly sporting, and this despite our best efforts to thin the enemy ranks. While it's not quite what we had planned, I'm glad we chose to remain in Tural. As am I. It was an unexpected but welcome opportunity to join in the defense of this realm. And to his credit, Kona did ask very nicely. Still, it's a pity his brother had to delay our pleasure jaunt. But business always comes first. Your pleasure jaunt, huh? Just the two of you? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Kicking asses, taking names. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see. Are they gonna use the shield trainers? Like I was wondering if they would. Cause that's the. This... Why bring those up so specifically? I guess they could simply put it in a place where the civilians are living. Save your life. 
<laughs> yes, I know. Don't squander it. Ouch. I never thought you of all people would come to my rescue. Bakul Chacha. Thank you. Oh, still rings odd in my ears. The thank yous. But I could get used to it. <laughs> Oh, he's coming out on fire too. It's a paladin. Well, oh, you go, Alfie. We're holding our own against their infantry. What of that monstrosity and its escort? If they start bombarding us with cannon fire, we'll have no means of fighting back. Worry not. We have a countermeasure. Is this is this where the thing I've seen mentioning earlier comes up? Oh no! Wait! Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, what? Bleeding dragon. <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> Feature's just like, hey buddy. Where are the where did you come? Beach? What the fuck? This wasn't exactly what I was expecting to see. What in the navigator's name is it doing here? Tuliolo has entered into an alliance with Rods at Han. A wise and timely decision on Valcona's <laughs> What's oh hello? Those dragons are gonna go over and fuck up the ships in the other area. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought for sure they'd be just saying with the lightning dra the lightning generators. I mean, <sighs> lightning shield generators. Now look. <laughs> we will hold out Lamachi. So keep your eyes forward and do what only you can do. See, I just was expecting something with the because why would they bring up those generators at the start and then they protect from lightning and then not use them later? Damn. Oh well. Especially the fact that they protect against lightning specifically. Damn. I'm I'm sad. Sad my my, my idea didn't turn out. Uh. Report from the fleet. The enemy has offered unexpected resistance. <laughs> We've been forced to withdraw. <sighs> Useless. All of you. I think it's time we destroyed him. Yeah, he's gonna kill. Yep. He's just gonna kill him again, isn't he? Enough of this! Enough! You swore you wouldn't harm my people! He's a fucking liar! Out of my way.
you've gone mad. He's always been like this. When the army fails in its duty. It is the charge of the King of Resolve to clean up its mess. You are a to achieve victory by any means necessary. <laughs> so good, I'm so just going. So Peter? Why is Peter in there? Blood. Execute all civilians and commandeer their souls. <laughs> Fucking excuse me? No. Damn you! Stop! Please, father, stop! Kalucha, I told you not to come. Oh no. Kalucha. You must flee, Kalucha. It isn't safe. There's Otis. I'm not going anywhere. I have to stop my father. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'll kill you. Put him down. I am not your father. Let him go. Using a child as a shield. Have you no shame? I hate him. I say him so much. Pitiful relic. Kneel before your king. Oh. Oh no. Otis. Otis? What's wrong? Find me at the top of Everkeep. There, we will determine who is fit to rule. No! You took the baby. I must protect them. Girl, you need, you need to, like, let him go. Because... He's... Otis, no! I can't wait to kill Sorrel ja. I hate him so much! He's the worst! So there's people who like like him like him like i don't understand we must hurry back to Everkeep. keep jaw thinks nothing of others lives he will kill his own people chances are we'll have to face a good part of his army with otis among them let's take all care oh fuck okay we're going we're going single instance okay we're going let's go Woo! Woo! okay we still haven't got there's one more area too of the game what i thought we would have already been there by now like oh shit the supports fuck <gasps> how much do i bet that poor red guy guy in red's gonna pee Ow. oh Toluda. No more use for you. Be gone. Father, wait! Father! Otis, Hamachi, you have to stop him. You have to. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take great joy in killing him. <gasps> wait! Oh, fuck! I think I saw him. Dude, you need to get out of there. Get, get, get to safety. They're just gonna shoot you again.
What have you done? Sveen, can't you order them to stand down? The King of Resolve holds military authority. I cannot overrule his commands. Okay. We gotta go. If there's something you can do, then do it. The people to safety. Your crimes are beyond forgiveness, but your people are innocent. <gasps> Hope you don't mind if I obliterate your army. <laughs> you all and still the talk can wait when you said that you wanted to protect your people i trust you weren't lying of course not there's nothing i wouldn't do for them we get them somewhere safe then let's split up and get to work <coughs> do what you can do Like, like, immediately my thought would be, you start getting them to a place that's safe. And can be fortified against the army. Alright, let's go... Well, this time we're allowed to do anything. Why are you gonna have to move structures? A moment. There, now please help as many as you can. Oh, is that what I think it is? Okay, no, it's someone else. Oh my god. I thought that was that guy who was like, I need souls! Let me through! Oh, come on! Hey, hey, can you, you build a new road for me? I'm <coughs> so pregnant up here in pain. Please hold on. Nope, nope. Ah, fuck. Oh, they're not raising. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No souls left. If I get killed again, I, I take deep breaths. Oh, oh, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Thank you for coming to save us. It's such a relief to see your Majesty is unharmed. We've cleared the way. We're in your debt. We'll try to get to safety before more of them come. Alright, let's go. Oh, the others are there!
Come on, there we go. I think we have to keep going this way. Oh, no, we can't keep going this way. Ah! That can't be it. There's got to be more to this instance. That was too easy. Looks like that does it for this area. Civilians on True View. Well, we can't leave the wounded. Let's divide into two groups. I'll go forth and fight. I don't have any healing abilities right now, so. Kryl, Raha, please stay here and render aid. They both have healing abilities, so that works out. The rest of us will go and deal with the machines. See you later, Raha. Go, 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 we gotta go! Oh no, Otis. Otis, you've got to wake up. Otis? Oh. Um, oh. For the honor of the Royal Knights! Forward! Otis Oath Broken. Oh no, don't say that! That makes me sad! Formation Alpha, what does that do? Oh, girl.
this. Everyone, keep your guard up. Ow. Can you? If he still remembers me, then perhaps. If you're, if you're going to be able to do something, now would be the time! Right. He's deactivated. Are you sure that's good? It should be safe to approach. No. He's, he's moving again. Oh, okay. We're okay. We're good. We're fine. Otis. Pray, stand back, Your Majesty. I am Sir Otis Valona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria. Upon my honor, you shall harm neither my fair queen. No are citizens! Okay, let's go. Let's go! Smash the smash. Smash the pots, wash the pans. The bases, bosses, etc, etc. Right. Oh, I should have loaded up my... Things. Oh well. So long in this body hole, I shall fight with you. Tis but a flash wound. No, why would you say that? <laughs>
Back. Why am why am my cat why is my thing so slow? Okay. Oh come on. Think we're gonna fight. I don't fuck we can do this. What the hell? Oh, yeah, I don't know if we anyone I, I don't think you could do that I don't know if it's possible to actually stop that Come on Okay, yeah, I don't think we're... I am doing everything I can, game. My queen. Oh my god! Are you on her? Okay. <laughs> okay, video game. Oh! I love, I love beating things to the wire. It stresses me out. Anyway. Probably also probably because uh, my I, my eye level was a little higher. Probably be better. Ooh, are you, you're not moving, buddy. Oh, this. I don't know if he can move. Yeah, no, he's. Thank you, Lord Captain. For the delicious repast. For everything. The old units do not have regulators. Their souls cannot be recovered. He is gone. The Otis who so valiantly fought for us. I'm truly grateful for your help. Would that I had the time to thank you properly. We need a... Uh, yeah, we can need a... Uh... I'm afraid I cannot linger. There are urgent duties I must perform. Hey, wait! Yeah, I mean, the city's kind of on fire, just a, just a little bit. Yeah, those things seem to short circuit after she leaves them. Where's Aaron? 
talking about? We're fine, but Otis is... So he's the one who was looking after Galulja. Yep. Thanks to you, Solution 9 has been spared the worst. But the situation on the other levels is grim. We're currently assessing the full extent of the casualties. In the meantime, could you help us treat the wounded? <laughs> the rule just sucks. Toby falls down a down an endless pit and disappears forever. God damn it, what's Saraljah trying to achieve by slaughtering his own people? That he's still bent on surpassing Papa's clear, but why this massacre? I don't understand. Right now we can only guess that at his attempt, but his obsession must be strong indeed to endure after 30 years. But now isn't the time to ponder such things. The people need our help. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, I'm level 98! That's a level 99! Oh no! I have a thing. By wearing regulators, people of Alexandria had been spared the fear of death. That's because the device not only resurrects you, it also raises your memories of the departed. The very notion of dying would become vague, if not forgotten. You'd be killed over and over. I can't imagine how traumatized the survivors would be. If you not physically hurt, it would, they would still need care. At a time like this, the citizens need their queen to console them. Where is she gone? I don't know. There are other sisters probably checking on them. In any case, it's too much for her to handle along. Countless, countless people will be distraught, and we have to provide them what comfort we can. So while, while, they, while the Oblivion tend to those with physical injuries, let's stick with those whose wounds are emotional. Understood. If you care, I want to concentrate on true view. The rest of us can we'll see the other areas. Sounds like a plan. All right, everyone. We'll meet up in the back room after. I know a way to get. I know a way to get to level ninety-nine super fast. I know a way. Here, we'll keep you doing MSQ while we wait for that to pop. Aw oh, man. Aw oh, man, this place was all lively and happy. Now it's smushed. Hello, how can I help you? Oh, thank you. I'm alright, I think. So you were fine with Queen Speen, weren't you? The other one was true then? Her Majesty is an LA person, that her actual body is elsewhere. It's not or some such, and she uses a special period of power to appear before us. I always wondered why the Alexanders never questioned her true nature, but now I think I understand why. She personally fought to protect us. But that's enough for me to know she's a worthy ruler. It doesn't matter what she is. Hey, yeah, you okay? It's, it's over. I'm still alive. Oh, thank goodness. It makes no sense. What right did the king have to destroy our lives like this? Give us back our peace. Leave us out of our out of your damned war. Girl, I hate I hate to tell you this, but being one of his citizens, uh, you, that means by default you are part of this war. I, I hate to tell you this. Hey, dude. I uh, I will talk to you in a moment. I just have to go do PvP. I'll be back. I will give you a good pet. <laughs> back pets. You'll be fine. Do I have do I have comfort? Do I have a comfort on my thing? Pure respects to this dead man. <laughs> He's still alive. I respect him now. Oh, finally! You should get 99 so I can complete the quest. Anyway, I hope everyone's ready to watch me rage about PvP. I hope, I hope everyone's ready. I hope, I hope everyone's ready for this. I... Oh no, which, which one are we in? Oh, okay, we're in the south one. Okay. 
That means our chances are a little bit better than the north one. But, uh, it's gonna take a lot to make sure for Mail not to win this. Boo! Can we do this quickly, guys? I wanna, I wanna get you, MSQ, please. I would like to get you, MSQ. Can we go quick here? Look at these people. Okay. For those unfamiliar with this mode of PvP in Final Fantasy XIV, uh, this is a capture the point and guard the point map. Unfortunately, though, most of the time people just grab the grab the points and then run off. Sometimes this means at some point points get become easy targets. Oh no, we are we are going to be. It. Red is absolutely going to try and jump us. Yep, there's some red right now. Oh my god! All of red is there. Okay, cool guys, cool guys. I, I am just a white mage. I cannot... Oh wow, okay cool, there's a whole group of them coming. Oh my god. Where is the rest of our- Oh my god, this is- so remember her earlier when I said people just run off without actually keeping an eye on their, their things? Oh my god. They are chasing us all the way back to our spawn. Wait, can I attack them from spawn? Can I, can I hit them from spawn? Are they close enough I can hit them from spawn? They are! Oh, are you gonna fucking actually... Oh my god, I am lagging real bad. Wow, it's almost like you guys shouldn't have fucking run away. Right. Woo! And we have zero points. Because everyone got murdered and we lost all the points we did have. I'm going to attack them from up here. Hi guys! Wow, we have zero fucking points. Uh, I don't know why everyone's everyone's worried about red. Like, we should be trying to get rid of yellow, because they're the ones that are, like, already halfway to the goal, but, you know. 
See what I mean? This is this is what happens. Please kill the samurai. We will kill that astro. No more points here. I am literally right here. I, I can literally see you. Dark Knight's running away. Okay. Well, I held them off long enough for us to keep this point, so... Ah, uh, there's some more yellow coming this way. You think I'm stupid. That's what I fucking thought. Wow, apparently, appar oh my god, what is Red doing? Amazing, amazing. Apparently Red is just attacking our base again. <laughs> Welcome to, some people are just stupid, I guess. Um. They're mad that none of the points have shown up in their stupid caves, aren't they? Anyway. <sighs> what is wrong with Genuinely, what is wrong with... There we go. Red is engaged yellow, yeah, for now. They were engaging them earlier, too. 
And I didn't really do anything in then either. One of the bad things about having if I just attacked from above them. That's what I thought. It's mid. It's red's coming that way. Ah, oh, fuck. We need, yeah, fuck the middle. Fuck mid. Fuck mid. I'll leave you alone if you don't come after me. Seriously? You stupid ninja. We we would have left you alone. Oh cute. points all of a sudden oh well whatever uh, welcome to hell this is... some people are just really stupid some teams are full of stupid people who go ah oh, that team is winning i'm going to fight the other team instead and then you sit there and go really i thought that team was pissed that they were they didn't get any of their any of their fucking super special cave, uh, cave shit. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm back. Never been so scared in my life. I died in an accident before, but it was nothing compared to this. We killed again and again and again. It was a living nightmare, and King Sorota was behind it, you say? So he suddenly appeared. He done, he's done nothing good for, good for us. He needs to lay a war, or more soldiers to be produced. Now he unleashes them on us. He's no king of mine. He's a murderer, and he someone needs to make him pay. I do think the fun, fun hair colors of Alexandria are fun. Dumpsters, real visible. Final Fantasy fourteen dumpsters. 
Where's Aaron Bell? Where is he? I haven't seen him since that cutscene. Where he had a moment about his uh, mom. Where is he? Seems there are some things... Uh, things are somewhat out under control. But all I see and the others are still out there. I can't help but worry about Kuluja. He has a word in small wonder given his ordeal. I'm going to talk to him about everything. Right as he is, there's no use hiding it. He'll eventually find out and it'll, it'll hurt him more. Very well, Bubba, please know if he isn't alone. Hey, buddy, do you want a hug? I can give you hugs. I I am very hug powerful. Hey, kiddo. Hey. Are you all right, Guloja? Lots of people are dead because of my father, aren't they? Ooh. That's... Oh, you're, you're playing the other book. Nope. How's that going? And Otis. He's gone too, isn't he? Not a good new job. I'm sorry. My father is a bad man. That's why you're going to kill him, aren't you? Oh, kid. Oh, sweetheart. Look. Forget it. I don't care anymore. Give him a hug! Not even halfway done and I'm losing my mind. Rest in, rest in peace. I will remember you panicked. Listen to me, Kulucha. You're right. We're going to confront your father. He invaded Tulihyola and hurt my people. As a vow of resolve, it's my duty to bring him to justice. Don't you think of him as family anymore? After the attack, I was filled with rage. I told myself over and over that he's no brother of mine, but it isn't so simple. No matter what I feel or say, all those years I spent striving to live up to his example, they won't just disappear. What's more, it's because we're family that we have to correct each other when someone goes astray. That's why I must confront my brother, like your grandfather did, even though it Cost him his life. But Otis is gone now. Mm -hmm. If my father was gone too, then I'd have no one. Do we really establish the thought true? What are you saying, Goja? Take a look around. You have us, Gulocha. All of us. We'll be with you. Through thick and thin. You're not alone. You'll never be alone again. Hugs, hugs. Can we get some hugs? Oh, 
fuck, 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 fuck. Damn it! Why, why do they never give me the, the hugs that I demand? Why are there never any family hugs? I'm offended! This would be like the perfect time to have some family hugs, but no. No video game. You don't do the hugs. You insult me! You should get some guests, Buddha. We've been through a lot. I do feel a bit sleepy. There's a room in the back you can use. Could you, could you take the loot out of there? I have soda rice. In case you're wondering what I'm doing. I will, thank you. I love soda. I would die! Alright, bubble lady. <laughs> Things I would say to Sorrel Ja as a mother. But I would not, better not get started. Said, let me thank you. We couldn't have gone through this without you and yours. So there's just me. I have to take the rest you can. It isn't over yet. Ooh. You could head, prepare for, otherwise feel free in the back room. But I was in, would you say? Is it still happening? Well, it's an old worn thing. There's bound to be a few hitches. So you worry about though. We'll have mean to discuss our next move in a little while. So until then. Yeah, yeah. See, our character is getting a little like. Hmm? All right, I need update stream title. We're in the 99 quests now, so. On to the summit. And first, have you? Let's round up everyone. <laughs> oh, boy. During a conversation with him, Sorrel Jaw bade Wukulamat come to the Tower Summit. Problem is, the elevators have been locked down due to the state of emergency. We were, we were working to lift the access restrictions, but from the it's not looking promising. Are there any other ways we can get to Sorrel Jaw? We believe so. As you know, Solution 9 occupies this ever ever keeps ninth level. Some somehow meanwhile is a twelfth. The map appears to cut off. While the King and Queen's Rose is believed to be located there, the details are highly classified, hence the lack of map data. So let's see. One, two, three, four. It's the very top. We do however have reliable intelligence considering everything up to the little level. What is this place? This is or Orgenix, the facility where souls are separated or fine for use. The process begins at the base with the extraction of souls from regulators and fiends. Those souls are then transported up to the etheric separator where they are cleansed of memories. Finally, they are packed within soul cells for distribution. Telephone fan, we recreated the process by which souls are breaking down in the ethereal sea. And the front of nature, I know, but the ethical discussions must wait. The salient point is that the facility extends vertically from the first to the eleventh level. Now Solar Jaw tends to strengthen himself with the, with the people souls as we strongly accept. We should probably disrupt that, huh? Maybe start smashing some shit.
When the facility will be operating and process and transport those souls directly to him on the twelfth level. So in order to reach Sorrel job, we make our way through our or or Genix. Precisely. As this facility sustains the Alexandrian way of life, security will be extremely tight. If we're willing to brave the route, we'll be back up we'll back you up as best we can. What say you? Goes without saying that we're going. I have never had any doubt. If we do, we need guidance on site, and this body makes me best suited. Hold it. Before you set up, I have to ask. All this time you've done that speed is an endless, haven't you? Yes, we have. Why didn't you tell us? Honestly, it didn't seem relevant to the matters I had. More complicated to explain than it was worth. And distraction from reference to deal with Sorrel Jaw. See, so which we should get moving. Those who are selling forth we gather in front of the tower. We can need to provide support from here, yes? Of course. Well, here we go. Maybe another instance, a dungeon. I have, I, I think, I feel like we're up for. We've, we've been needing another dungeon soon. Hi, Arendel. I need to talk to you about. Never mind, it can wake. Lest you wonder, I have no objections to remaining here. Someone needs to keep those those until you are informed. Best of luck with you. Hello, sir. Is it in here? No. It's probably like actually outside. Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's go to this dungeon. Do this dungeon. Actually, why haven't. We're kind of getting real close for like we usually get like three trials within a MSQ, and we've, we've only had one. All present in camp for excellent. We may put someone in one push. This will be a grueling climb, so see this if you so see to it you spare no preparation. Resilient sun, huh? And it's just or Argenics is located on the back of, at the on the back of our we reach it by the by the water, and we need to. We go to the pier at Drift Downs. <laughs> so I got tongue tied all of a sudden. Um, this way. Okay, I think I just need. Yeah, I should do side quests here. I'll be good. We'll do them another time, off stream. So we can go at the quest at my pace, which is actually very quickly. Um, I, I, I feel like I should make it known that uh, I go very fast when I'm doing MSQ by myself, because I read Unless the cutscene's voice, I just read it really fast and then I go. Alright. It begins. I'll now explain how this mission will unfold. Orgenix takes delivery at specific times. It is at one such time that we will enter the facility aboard the hover cargo. Kilbasa here will pilot a vehicle, so you'll only sit tight while until we arrive at the entrance. Ah. 
There we go. Sorry, shifted in my chair. My friends in the back room will create a diversion so we can steal inside. After which we make our way to the summit, striking down any foes that bear our path. Let's go. Easy, yes. Easy to say, perhaps. We'll manage one way or another. That we will. And in anticipation of the unexpected, we should maintain contact with the support crew and adopt as necessary. Indeed, I shall use the communicator borrowed from Shell to keep them uh, informed at all times. Hey, so everyone has a grasp of the details? Good. We set off very soon, so be ready. Here we go. Here we go. Obviously, we're doing an NPC party with the boy. No, I'm still not close enough to get... Can I get in the water? No. Damn, okay. With NPCs. Right. Go in. Let us begin. Oh, this is a fun music. I re I'm more I like this track. New room. Probably either another set of enemies or the boss. Oh, it's an elevator. Nothing ever good hap good happens on elevators in this game. Right elevator. Whether I need to head up.
Come on, smishy smash. There we go. Look at the little guy. Look at that little guy back. Why is he gold? Both short gold. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my gosh, so there's a list of those who recently taken the cloud. Like, we need to be among them. Yeesh. What are you doing? Oh, there's more there. Look at all the souls just sitting in around. The bearable feast for a void scent. I love how this is just sitting on the elevator. Apparently, I did not move fast enough. So I hit the wrong button there. There we go. I'm sorry. This thing got knocked over. Let me take care of it. There we go. Nope. Come on. Give me like two seconds, I think that. For two seconds. Uh. There we go. Oh, there's a treasure popper. Choke broadcasting. Wish I could see it without the top on. 
Actually, I can. Oh, that's a fun choker. Oh, hello. That's the extractor. Allow me. I feel like we should be sabotaging this shit. I feel like we should be, like, doing something about it. Such as the crossing may be strictly observed, as we to construct the ruler of the most vital resource. Actions resulting in damage or less constitute. Something damage in this time. First stage destruction, we can see the prize that both mirrors extract from a regular trap of the dense stabilizing tank. As hastening extraction increases the risk of damage, rate must not be adjusted except in the event of an emergency. I wonder if. It Saluja. Saluja. Increase the speed. This ether is port through the etheric separator. Divided into its. So there's the clean pot up to upper organics for all processing with the radio from the missile temporal. Round location identified. Testified. Huh. Unless you express this way, the memories of fiends are discarded.
get squished. What the fuck is that? Deceiver? Hello? This is a big arena. Oh, it's smaller now. I... Yeah, see, that was my instinct was to do that. Because she, the way she, her design is, it makes me think of the, uh, what's her name? The queen from Scatha. From the Void Arc. Specialized turrets, okay. Allow me. Yeah, that's what I thought. second the 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 AOEs for the ads would go off first but no Let's take you to the upper level. Okay. We. <clears throat> I saw those wings. Those are the temper wings. Oh, it's just Graha spawning right on top of me inside the. Look at how fast they're going. Fuck. Oh, this is some materia. Boo.
Fish, leech. Mush. And a squirrel. Come on. There we go. Oh, and more materia. Huh? Oh. Oh, there's thing in there. What the hell? What are they doing to that guy? Ambrose? Oh no. Spirit sees a soulless body and abuses mother of soul, including those of beasts. Be a prototype multi-regulator. Somebody probably behaves like the parents of a living person, but displays advanced per Symptoms of personality drinking on destructive tendencies. This is all, but certainly due to an overdrivenness of feral souls. Yeah, while the subject possesses a feral strength, it cannot be reliably controlled, considering ridding it into the purpose. You sure experiment. Ooh, Ambrose? Uh, aka the twin's dad? Okay, okay. see people riding knees. Allow me. Well, yes, Ambrose is going to be our final, the final dungeon boss. Is he trying to bite them and just is just headbutting them instead? I shouldn't think that's funny, but it is. That's why I think it, oh my god, here we go. Oh boy.
What the hell is that? Okay, no. Oh, uh, nope, it is. It is. Okay, cool. Innovation's excess. Yep. Cool. About reach the king. Oh wow, that covered a lot of more of the field than I thought it would. Okay, I wanted to get behind just in case. Oh, that adds. died. That's okay. I didn't die though, so that's what's important. Come on. Oops. Oh, barely made that. No, what are you coming after me? Quick. Grail. I love you, but holy fuck. You almost killed me. there. Just in case he moves to the middle.
Did it. Okay. Woo! Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yeah, that was definitely a sad moment. We're uh, definitely not telling the twins about this. I don't think they deserve to know about. I don't. I don't think they deserve to have their heart broken like this. It's not opening. How do we get it open? Can you see to the lock? Just a moment. Oh, the opening. Those look kind of like <sighs> the eleventh level, just below the summit. Okay. Look, soul cells. This is where they're kept. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. <laughs> what? Then these are all. I was kind of thinking maybe only the glowing ones are still. cell is supposed to light up green when loaded, isn't it? Yeah. Yet the light is out on most of these. Oh, Seralja. Don't tell me he's already used them up. That's why he cut down one of his own for the regulator. Hopefully it's just seen, but... Oh, uh, wait, guys! What are you doing here? Alphano and Yishtola are Destinian, too! Wait, let me see. We have enough for a full... an eight-person party. The enemy has withdrawn. Freeing us up to come and lend you a hand. The backroom crew gave us a briefing. No rest for the righteous as usual, eh? Shh. The idea of empowering oneself with souls is rather reminiscent of void sent practices. I should be keen to learn more about the process after more pressing matters have been resolved. <laughs> I believe I speak for everyone when I say I'm glad you're here. As you'll have heard, the Alexandrians have suffered heavy casualties. We must stop Zoralja before it gets any worse. Stab, stab, stab. We must stab the man. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm, I can't. I can't just steal your shoulders line, but I won't. Especially because we're missing the one of the people. Who are... Ow! My fucking toe. This far, my friends. I just banged my toe on my desk. Ow! One last time. I deserve that. Ow. Together, let us defeat Zorolja and safeguard the future of Tulihola. And here is where I must excuse myself. Come back in one piece. You hear me? 
We will. Every one of us. So I'm, real. I'm pretty sure Speed really did want to have us take out Sorrel Jaw. But Sorrel Jaw has so much power over her everything in her city that she doesn't have any choice but to submit to him even even after trying to recruit us in. What the hell is this bullshit? What have you done? What the f- What in the world is that? It couldn't be a void gate. It's enormous. Aye, it dwarfs even the ones Aromas opened. That oh isn't no! A void gate. It doesn't lead to the thirteenth. This is the one that. This is the one that leads yes. to... In all likelihood, it's a portal to yet another reflection. By the Twelve? To think that reality is being fused together was only the beginning. Like, another, another reflection? Or the one that Alexandria is from? Must wait. He's here. Oh, there he is. He literally made his throne to look like Tarals. Tuliolas. Like, look at it! There is a limit to how much ether a living being can harbor while retaining its physical form. Zeralja has far exceeded that limit. With the souls he has absorbed, he has attained power to rival even a king among void scent, but at a terrible cost. Twelve have mercy. I don't think he's there anymore. Brother! It ends here and now. Well, I don't know if he recognized you. He didn't see. And you are Zorolja, King of Resolve of Alexandria. For the last time, we fight for duty, for blood, for everything. Oh, is things so broken? Yes, we fight. Hold nothing back. This multitude of souls I shall burn to the last moat. I'm going to kill him. I will kill you and prove the miracle. I will prove that I am father's true successor. And that right there is why you won't be. Yep, nope, there it is. Uh, dungeon? Trial? I don't think... Oh, 
we can't do NPCs. I'm gonna do it. For funsies. Yeah, there's everyone. Sure? Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Sounds like fun. Let's go. Let's see how this goes, guys! Did you record? Could you just come to record? Ready? Check. To begin recording. I'm not gonna do that this time. Alright, asshole. Can't wait to finally end you. What did you say, loser? Oh. Let the victor's reign be sanctioned by the blood of the fallen. What does that mean? What's he gonna do? I need more power. I feel like this is gonna be a two phase uh, fight. Oh! What visions are these? Out of my way! Is this my weakness given shape? Petricide Pike. Okay. Down with you. Ow. I'm gonna shell up so I don't fucking die. No limits will find me. Be gone, along with my pitiful past. Move fast, I'm gonna check something. Well, he's out. Oh, sure, I was gonna try and start getting building up my uh, canvases. Spanish, why didn't you say no? Oh, fuck. I am the worthy king. There's nothing there. Do you touch? You touch the child, even if it's just a vision of the child, I will be angry. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you.
This is my path. What the hell? Like, I already knew he was capable of it, but... Still pissing me off. Sorry, I still have my soda. I hate him! Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, you, you've made a mistake, sir. You've made yourself, essentially, into a primal. I specialize in killing those. Hi, Alicia. I'm gonna stand on top of you. I see what he's doing. I think, yep, there it is. Will be oh, I have to keep an eye on behind me, too. Is that you? Now I'll show you. Oh, oh, I see. I think I see what. Right, my place. Yeah, this spot is still safe. They're all being summoned at once. Oh, since we're going first. Okay, uh. Thank you. I think you're safe.
Mercy. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 Video game. To the front ends. Back ends, back ends. Which side's going first? Doing it. Ali say no! You're flying the ever one! Take that! There was nothing. You made this. Come on. Woo! Did it! Did it! We did it! We did it! He's dead! He's down! Oh, I just realized he's got like some weird false second head. Ooh. Nasty. This is how I feel about him. Let's uh, clean up the mess, get rid of them, take them out, you know. Dude's gone. Like, in the head. Um. <laughs> hey, buddy, you done? You get here? You done throwing your little fucking murderous tantrum? Brother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bro, you deserve better than this shithead. So, it is to be defeat. The kiddo. We're not gonna get anything from this guy. Father, is that you? Because I don't understand why it had to be this way. Why don't I know you? Why didn't you want me? Good job. How could I be a father when my own spared me? Garbage. Bull fucking shit. Bullshit. Really? That's your only reason. Because you decided to throw a baby baby tantrum and I had nothing. Fuck! 
Fuck you! You were the head of the Lands Guard! You were highly respected amongst your people! You had stuff to pass on! You just didn't- there just wasn't stuff that you wanted! Fuck you! God. Why does that matter? Couldn't you have just... been there? You know, like your dad tried to be for you, but you refused to to reciprocate. You ask a lost man for the way. I do not presume to call you mine, nor do I desire anything of you. But I leave behind that which I've gained by the sweat on my brow. It is yours. Race or spam. of your brow. You mean like murder? <laughs> I walked the path of ruin. You suck. God, I hate this man. Stop trying to get. Unable to surpass further. This guy drives me insane. You had everything you could have wanted, and you walked away from it, going, it wasn't good enough. So much for the resilient sun, the miracle. Uh, what would have... What? You just said, sorry, I didn't mean to do... I, I don't mean to... Like, fucking... You decided to apologize and be, like, a better person. Lamont would have taken you back in an instant. You did you decide, nah, I'm gonna murder our dad, kill a bunch of your people, and then declare war on you. Shut up. I have no I feel nothing for this man. I'm glad he's dead. I don't give a fuck. He deserved it. I feel bad for Gluja who has to deal with this bullshit. And Wook Lamont. You think Papa left you nothing? You God's damned fool! You have the one thing he couldn't leave anyone else. You and Kalucha. Hey, it's the key! I'd say we take it back. It's ours now. How's the thing up there? Pretty sure that thing's what's keeping. It's not over. Oh great! Is something coming out of it? <sighs> Spain. Spain, you're gonna make an enemy of, or you're gonna make an enemy of yourself, aren't you? Oh, Sveen. Sweet, sweet Sveen. If you want to help your people, don't make us an enemy. Zorolja is gone. There's no need to fight anymore. Sveen? Why are you here? I wanted to express my gratitude to you all for vanquishing the King of Resolve and delivering my people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And to express my regret for what I've done to yours. Your apologies won't bring back our dead or lessen your guilt. What is what is happening? I am concerned. Still, strike you down in revenge would trigger all-out war between our nations more innocents would suffer even if we cannot be friends right now we need to find a different path forward a way that Tulihyolal and Alexandria can coexist I fear that can never be 
And why is that? What do you mean? There is no other path for us. It's too late. I cooperated with Zeralja because I needed the life force yielded by the slain to sustain the Endless. Of course, the king betrayed me, and with his army defeated, that plan can no longer be realized. But I can't. I won't fail my people. Be they possessed of flesh or no, all of them are dear to me. If there is something I can do for them, as their queen, I must do it. Here we go. Hear me, Sveen. We appreciate your commitment to serving the Alexandrians and have endeavored to understand your beliefs. Be that as it may, you must know it's wrong to sacrifice our living to save your dead. I see. It's because you do not know them that you believe they're dead. They're not. So long as they are remembered, they shall never die. That's not that what that means. You understand, don't you? <laughs> Here we go. I think I've been... No matter what anyone may say, I refuse to believe that Kafkiwa's is a hollow existence. That she can simply be allowed to fade away. Your Majesty. I... am the bearer of the memories of Queen Sphine of Alexandria. And my desire to protect my people transcends all others. For them, I will do anything. No price is too high. Bro, calm down. What are you doing? Seven hells. What is it? There exists a legend in Alexandria. In ages past, faced with a calamity in their world. A clan of people used a singular power to flee to ours. Oh shit. So I'm from some one reflection fled to Alexandria. Shit. The key which manifests this power answers to fervent desires. Desperate, all consuming supplications that have given rise to many a miracle. Oh delightful! That key holds the secret to interdimensional fusion, and unraveling its mysteries was the foremost mission of the scientists of preservation. Alas, they failed to fully grasp its workings, leaving us with only partial control over it. Nevertheless, if I'm to sustain the inhabitants of living memory, I have no choice but to call upon its power. Girl, girl, calm down. And do what with it? For hundreds of years I tried, but it was all to no avail. My benevolence did naught to protect my realm. But. I can still take up arms and fight. 
If bloodshed will save my subjects, then I will become history's most brutal queen. Oh, dear. This, that way right there is where kindness court turns to cruelty. What's happening? I want to say the gate's closing, but that's not what's happening. Something else is happening here. Wait. Just gonna leave everyone in Solution 9 alone, huh? Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> Sphine, for fuck's sake. Oh, Sphine. Oh! Well, the bubble kid doesn't talk anymore. Bite her. That's exactly what I want to say. Everything's gone to shit! <laughs> Woo! Hey, Stola. That woman Sveen, was it? And I'll let you know the trip from light and the reflection yonder. I should go after her now. She might even know something, but her vessel ceased to function when the portal closed. Let us examine with luck. Well, let's examine it. With luck, it'll use some much needed clues. Yeah, it's a bubble. Shows no signs of life. I'm going to open it up and poke at its circuit street. I'm sure no one will mind. She did say sure she operates her vessel from afar. So you have befallen her? No. Oh, the words Sphine spoke to your mother, do they mean anything to you? Those who came from my village, none of them remembered her. Stay to witness to those who, to witness happen to those who knew Namika. And she is... You know something, do you? Whatever it is, please tell me. Can Sweetie protect herself on the machines? Uh, she connect the other connect to remote to hers remotely. The three they appeared identical to their in their existence. Both were inorganic objects suffused with faint amounts of ether. When ether faded, they became lifeless husks. As all saw that the, when as we all saw this happened both the, the moment before the portal closed. She's operating her vessel from the reflection beyond. But if none of her vessel friends and acquaintances here remember her, then she's an endless too. Say what we're all thinking. Endless. Those who recreate from the memories of the departed. All this time my mother was dead, she fooled us all. She, for one, does not seem to think of them in that way. No, she loves them like she does her all her systems. She doesn't even check them. Such as plundering Aether from the source. Source. Alas, Soul Jaw has her own agenda and spoiled the plan. While well, she possesses the key, she can target other reflections without our interference. Whoops. Uh, reflections that probably can't do defense. We feel the source were not the only ones in danger. We must stop her. We have to go where Sphine is gone. I want to talk to her again. And perhaps we'll find Kakiwa as well. One of these guys on her. Well, that's alright. With the gate closed, we need to find alter means passage. I will look into it. Thank you. Let's begin by investigating this place. There might be clues that relate into what lies beyond. Let me help. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Anything at all. 
course, my friend. Your knowledge and expertise would be most welcome. Oh, Aaron Bell. I expect the investigation will take time. Perhaps you'd like to head back below with Fula Jaw and get some rest. That's not a bad idea. We do need to share these developments with those in the back room as well. Come on, Galuja. Yeesh. Oh, Sphine. You too, Kieran. You've more than done your part for now, so leave this to us. Well, everything's fucked. Everything's gone to shit. So much is happening so quickly. I'm still catching it mentally. But where it concerns Sorrel Jai, I have no regrets. I made a choice and did what I had to do. I wish I could have stopped Sphine too. Suffer from waking, walking her misguided path. I could definitely use some rest. Tacos! We're going to make tacos. We're gonna take the tacos. I'm really sorry, but not sure what happened to Kakia. Kakia? Mm -hmm. Those are trying to learn what they can. Kakia, okay. we know that such a day could come, but I wish we could have at least said goodbye. We knew then that she was already gone. We did. We all did. Kia prevented us from saying anything. She wanted to tell you herself that the time was right. I expect she was torn over how to reveal the truth to Aaron Bell. You see, I don't think anyone could blame her for keeping quiet. But tell me, how are the people faring? Have they forgotten Sorrel Jaw already? No, nope, they still remember him. Whatever this might be, the result the gate at Summit being closed. Most are unaware of the villains. They'll relieved to hear that the king has been defeated, but at the same time, they'll likely panic with the room for the queen has disappeared. Right now, the Geo is making contact with various government bodies, but it'd probably be best to keep it all under wraps for a time. Agreed. Once we resolve matters, I'll explain everything to the people. I consider it my duty. Speaking, you kind of abandoned half of your people. The living half. Ugh. As the soil draws a mechanical army, let's become with them now that he's gone. Well, anything else about that? Yeah? What are you willing to meet for? As at the time we sus suspect that Sorolja passed the king to throw appears to have transferred to Kuluja. Well, uh, rude. When you say Kuluja is the new king? Well, according to we're required to make it official at the moment, this is recognized as his father's successor. But I don't want this. I don't want the king. It's not a decision you have to make right away. Given that the authority comes to command of the army, you can't give it up lightly either. You can think on it together later, but for now I want you to hold on to it. It's what your father has left you. If you say so. Um, are you alright, Mommy T? Huh. Uh, what is this? Why can't I? This way, everything that's happened, all the terrible things my brother did. I still don't know how to feel towards him. What's wrong with me? It's perfectly normal. You gotta grieve someone, even if they won't. If all they've done in recent memories hurt you. You think so? I'll take your word for it. For now, we have things under control. Why not return to Toliola and rest up while the others handle the investigation? You know, I think I'll do that. It'll be good to see how things are at home and catch up with Kona. Hey, 
Hey, why not two of you come too? You've never seen the sun, have you? But won't everyone hate me? Of course not. They might be a little, a little unsure at first, but I'll set them straight. Besides, I want to introduce you to Kona as a new family. But really? Really? But as if you're fine with it? I am. I am. Let's be off. We'll head directly to the palace to see Kona. Wow. Well, time to teleport here. God. We're, we're leaving the sci-fi land for the first time in a while. Jeez. Feels weird. while but we're back it's probably like, wait you are returned <laughs> I'm a, I'm coming down and no I'm actually a mirage I'm not actually here Where's Lamachi? What happened inside the dome? Uh, we found out some shit. I'm actually surprised she's not here yet. Still got more to contend with, but... So my brother is gone. Yet the danger remains. And you must soon sally forth unto an unknown reality. Eh, not the first time I've done it. Hey, Kona! Man, I wish I knew who... There had to be an ancient involved with the shit, that shit. On wherever Alexandria is, so... Lamachi. Is this boy, perhaps? This is Zorolja's son. <laughs> the name probably made a lot of people go, what? I see. Time did flow differently inside the dome. If he is our brother's child, then... Kululja, was it? My name is Kona. And I... I'm Lamachi's brother. You're her brother? Yeah. You'll find none more dependable than Kona. He's family. 
and he'll take good care of you. A pleasure to meet you, Kululja. A pleasure to meet you too, uh, Uncle Kona. Aww. Well, <laughs> I suppose I am your uncle. He's like, oh god, I'm already an uncle! But simply Kona will do. You're all confused, and little wonder. Rest assured, all will be explained in due course. But for now, I want to make one thing clear. Gululja is his own person. He had no part in his father's crimes. If you have anger towards Zorolja you need to express, Kona and I will gladly hear you. But you will treat Gululja as you would any child, with kindness. As we should. The boy's done no wrong. Yes. The vow of resolve speaks true. Oh, thank God. <laughs> there are probably some people who are still asshole, but everyone else just look up and like, What the fuck are so you doing? Will you tell me what happened? Don't touch the child. Rahatia has given me a summary, but I would hear your detailed account. Can we walk while we chat? I want to see how things are in the city. Oh, so let's get Galuja some new case, clothes. Let's make our way to Bright Bloom Post. Let's get him some new clothes. So the ones he's wearing are on alert, garbage. If the threat of invasion has passed, I will bid them take a well-earned rest. Oh god. It's neat, sir. I'll just realm inside the bill. Realm, he gently ruled with steam. He has the king of resolve and she the queen of reason. Just like you and me here. My people lead very different lives for Dars, but I guess they'll lead them to the fullest. And Speed is a big part of that. She's an considerate and approachable ruler who treats everyone as family. The yeah, and her must have gone along quite well. We did, but I love her, of her for her people, and she's chosen the wrong path. They're a good folk, the Alexandrians. They both come into their homes and trees as trying to some respect. But Sorrel just slaughtered them. Saw so those he was meant to protect for his own ends. By the gods, tell me how this came to happen. As the second told the Olaf felt, Soral Jad sought to gain more power, so he ordered his people executed and harvested their souls. Which drove him to commit such an atrocity. He claimed he wanted to bring the entire world under his dominion, but that was just means to achieve his true desire. My grandfather, he was a great person, right? M maybe if I would have proved he was his own person, but he wasn't just a great person's son. I dare say you're right. As a resilient son, our father's true born heir, he bore the weight of expectation. That weight was clearly greater than any of us had imagined. That's still not a fucking excuse or a good reason. I don't know. It's probably why he was who he was and why he didn't want me. Damn it all. If only we tried harder to reach out to him. No, I don't know if you could have tried harder, girl. Let's keep moving. Like, generally, I don't know how much harder you 
you could have tried to reach him. Like literally, I think the only way you could have actually like reached him, like you're expected, like you're thinking, is to like give up your right to be a claimant, and I don't think that's that would have worked out well for anyone. So, Sarja had become un unimaginably powerful. It was only with Karan's help that we managed to beat him, and now I have a responsibility to have the people of Alexandria and above all to Gulaja. I promise it, I I want us to become family. And it is only out of obligation, since I've gotten to know you, I've come to really like you. You may not be my nephew by blood, but we're friendly to the end. We'll always be there to help each other, isn't that right? Right. You too, Kiran. After everything we've been through, we're already as good as family. What? What do you mean, what? The more family you have, the merrier, don't you think? Come on, let's head to the, to the barracks. I think he thought that was like a marriage proposal, unintentionally. I think it's what going going through Kona, uh, Kona's head. Like, don't worry, Kona, I'm already married. <laughs> it's a joke. That's a joke. All right, next uh, objective is a cutscene. Hell yeah, baby. I'm glad I could hear what happened to the dome. I'm sorry they had to bear such a heavy burden, Mabuchi. Don't be. As well as well, it was something I had to do. Besides, it was your ingenious strategies that kept Teliola safe. Asking you to rule with me was definitely one of my better ideas. Because we all fought as one that we compelled the invaders, and only then only and then only with the aid of Mitra and its kin. See, I might I don't know that, but Thanks Alpha No and it's so interesting for us, we were able to swiftly forge an alliance with Razatan. And when the dragons appeared in our skies, I felt that this was it, the Tuliola you had envisioned. We owe our new allies a great debt, but I hope we can repay them one day. Indeed, once I don't have matters, we should go and thank them in person. Grant has told had told me as much, but you still have work to do, yes? Yes, I need to find Sveen. She harmed our people so that her own might live, but as I was raging at her deeds, I realized something. Just because Tuliola is safe doesn't mean I could what becomes of Alexandria. That's the kind of thing that led to conflict in the old days. I want to help the Alexandrian people live in peace and happiness. And the only way to do that is to stop Sveen from mocking her path. Oh. Very well, Lama Ji. I promise you, you'll take care. I promise, Kona. Don't worry, I'll make sure she doesn't get exploded. Well, I anticipated this, I still can't help but worry. I'm sorry they have to go away again so soon. But setting, even setting speed aside, some of our old people may be among the endless. I can't just sit around and leave everything to the others. I understand. I have matters here well in hand, so do what you must. Sorry, let me look. There it is. Sorry, I'm okay. Just had to shift around. For all you've done for us, for our nation and our, our family, I fear I can never express sufficient gratitude. But thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ba, 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 ba. Well, it's good to catch Kona up. Now I'll talk to the soul. Hmm? Who might this be from? Oh, that's right. Kirat is with me. Is that so? And that's Keith, look me at Sun Perch. See you soon. Michelle is heading back. I dare say, I dare to hope she's found a way to pursue Sveen. We all want to go on ahead to Sun Perch. I'll, we'll pay, I'll pay our soldiers a quick call. Wah! Wah, wah, wah!
Oh, everyone's coming back. Oh, Shell. This is the first time she's been out here. She's probably like, whoa, nice place. Apologies for the wait. But like in a different way than her place is nice. Y'all here. Then that means... Hi. We believe we found a way to travel to the reflection to where Speed has retreated. I was busy providing aid in Solution 9, so I haven't heard the details myself. You start from the beginning, you show up? Wait, if that... If that little like cup key thing is a way to like travel to other shards does that mean we can like does that mean the next expansion will be about another reflection maybe hmm you start at the beginning Ishtala. first fiend's own word the gate atop everkeep was opened and closed by the power of interdimensional of interdimensional fusion and it was the artifact known as the key that allowed her to control it Years ago, according to Kitchen Round, the key was brought with me to the, sink, to the source 20 years ago. It was then kept the, here in the palace until it's theft by Soroja, who used it in Yasulani fused, to fuse a portion of our world with its reflection. Following Soroja's demise, Sveen claimed the key and disappeared through the gate. But where exactly did that gate lead? In seeking the answer, we took another look at Orgenics and made a startling discovery. As you all know, Maybe there should have been one more level at the summit of Upper Keep. The twelfth level. Key resolves loyal ab royal abode. Right, but when you actually went there, you saw that it didn't exist. Curious, we analyze our our genetic slot to see where the memories of that depart of the departed were being sent, and where it should be but through the gate, the missing twelfth level. That level alone must be it must have laid outside of the fused region, and so was left behind. And that then it means the reflection to which Venus fled is her own. I don't know if you'd be so kind, Kindle. Indeed, to Sphine's homeworld, and she has returned there to join the memories of her departed citizens. As the key lies with her on the other side, we have a means to reopen the gate. Forgive me, but I thought we already knew she had gone home. Or at least it seemed obvious to me. What I want to know is how do we pursue speed if the gate here is closed? We use the gate, and, just so, and it just so happens that we know where one is. The sky deep, so note. So note. So note. All evidence suggests that the gate there leads to the world once the Alexandrians and I came. I assume that's true. How can we open it? That is what we shall find out using the code in this hearing. As you recall, you'll recall, Kyle's earring is in fact a data storage device. Now that's what we yielded to code. So use the control of contraption, and a very large one at that. Given the circumstances of Kyle's arrival in the source, we believe that said contraption is the gate to the Golden City. This is merely an educated guess, but you're quite hopeful that it will work. To make such progress in so low, short a time, we really are amazing. We couldn't have done it alone. The credit must go for the members of Oblivion for acquiring the information we needed, Shell especially. Right then, it seems the plan is set to Sky Deep Sinote. Please just teleport me there, video game. I don't want to travel there. Nope, nope. Mm, that would be too easy. That would be too easy, huh? Wah! I go now. Begging your pardon, Karan, but might I have no air setting forth? Oh, you're already going to give her the thing? Huh? Yes, I thought to save it for later, but in light of these developments, I feel now is the time. The thing? As long as she says, says I have something for you. Please come to me the base side, Bevy. Oh, are we finally getting armor? Mew!
Wait, I'm stupid. Oh, that is not a player. I thought for sure that would be a player, but no, I'm crazy. A million years later. There we go. To the safe no small part due to your valor. As a show your appreciation, I commissioned special equipment for you. While as any Anarchist's any expression of gratitude, I pray you'll serve me well your coming mission. It apparently incorporates foreign technology. Even Dakota never requests such a thing, huh? Masuneta Wander Yonder has the equipment in his keeping. Just say the word and he'll bring it out. Ba 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 ba. Ooh. Oh, they're fun. Oh, that looks like velvety. Oh, I like that. Ah. What's that look like? Oh, interesting. I mean, I can grab all these, but I'm going to do that. I'm sorry, the hat. Look at that hat. I don't. It, it, that hat does not look good on um, my warrior of light. <laughs> Actually, it's time. I've been waiting to use this glamour. I was gonna use it through endgame. Alright, through the get of gold. With your shiny new gear, I reckon you're ready for anything. Come, let's head to Sky Dupe Sunote. I see your area is presently restricted for my orders, so I shall accompany you. Oh, the video game is going to make me go by hand. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And we're off. I'm so glad I could fly. Makes this way faster. Hmm. Oh, it reminds me, I haven't looked at my uh, level 100. Ooh, I might get that soon.
Why haven't got Guluja some new clubs, huh? Who knows where I got back inside? Got inside, but I could have a take a moment. It's just being here takes me back. It wasn't even that long ago that we visited for the right. So much has happened since then. It's probably like at most a, a month. Truly guided by truck truly guided by my grandfather's feather across the grandfather's leather letter the lever letter across the seas in search of answers. Always just on the road ahead, I know not, but I shall walk it to the end with you all. Come on, let's go. Here we go. The Meg we gotta watch a cutscene with my new glamour. Yay! I am pleased. Electro everywhere one turns, harboring vast amounts of lightning. This place is very much alive. You say so, ma'am. Crow, try holding your earring to the terminal. God, it would be too easy if that, that is how it works. <laughs> Oof. Hmm? Nope, denied. That was a bad sound. That was not a good sound. Good yeah. Luck. Too easy. Don't give up yet. The terminal reads the code. It might just need higher clearance. Gulja, would you give it a try? Oh, good point. He's got the king off of authorizations. If the king's authority is passed to you, then the gate ought to open. But I leave behind that which I've gained. Shut up, I don't want to listen to what you have to say, you asshole. Worked. Ah, oh, fuck, I did too slow. I'm gonna take a picture here, though. Yeah, this might, the one of these has got to be the thumbnail. Interesting thing. Oh, I can't do it until after this cutscene's over. Fuck. <sighs> Wait, if they came from this portal, are they in the living memory? Well, let's go. Sounds, uh, nerves right. Makes me a little bit nervous. But now isn't the time to marvel. If Galuljar can open the gate, then so too can Sveen close it. It would be wise to employ magics in its defense, both to maintain its stability and ward off interference. What is my hearing like? I'm able to invoke said magics. I cannot sustain them alone. 
require another to channel with me, and in unison. For that role, I do humbly volunteer myself. But even our combined efforts offer okay. no certainty of success. Might we prevail upon the two of you to lend your support? Oh, no. Of course. If coordination between mages is required, few would be better suited than Alizé and myself. So those four are staying behind, it looks like. Shall I remain as well? While your presence would be welcome, I'd rather you joined the expedition team. For despite our earnest efforts, the gate may well end up closed once more. In such a situation, it may fall to those on the other side to devise a method to reconnect <laughs> our worlds. A task with which you are not unfamiliar, as I recall. I have faith it will not come to that, but should it? I will endeavor not to disappoint. Fair enough. So, assuming Wuglemart, Kryl, and Erinville are given for this foray, I'll make myself useful here by guarding those who are maintaining the gate. Oh, okay. Should threats emerge from the world beyond or otherwise, I'll deal with them. As will I. Which leaves you free to head in there and do what you do best. Oh, I really did put the behemoth earring on there. I didn't realize. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I have to do that. Make sure we can return. We can return while we're still young and beautiful, eh? Gotta make a joke. Got it. It's fine. Really, mostly. You're just mad because you didn't go to the third. You didn't get to go to thirteenth too. Just don't let her bear the burden alone. Do you hear? Alright, let's go! I wanna go. I wanna touch it. I wanna go through it. I wanna see what the other side looks like. Oh. I was about to sprint through. The game the game wants me to talk to Love it tea first. What did that do? It is done. Whenever you're ready. We'll protect the portal. Keep it open no matter what. I need to change the earring because I'm not going to take any of the cutscenes seriously as long as that earring is on my head. I didn't even realize I still had that earring on. That's just a big glamour plate. Alright guys, let's go! We got party of four. I... Beyond lies an unknown reflection. Short of asking an Asian, we unfortunately have no way of identifying which one it is. Well, what we do know is that it's Sphine's domain. A place where she brings back those who've been lost. So for now, why don't we call it the unlost world. Right. Let's go. I'm sure we'll find out what shard it is eventually. I doubt they'll keep it from us. Why what panic? Oh, are the earring? It's because it's a baby behemoth. It's a cute little cartoony baby behemoth. I can't take see that seriously. It's too cute. Oh, and I'll be I'll be distracted every time I, I I'm on screen. And my eyes will be immediately drawn to the little little speck of purple next to my neck, and I'll be like, oh, look how cute it is. Wait, wait, what's happening? Oh, people are dying. And uh, I'd rather that not happen. You know. 
Woo! Oh, okay. Where are we now? There's the gold LED lights! What the fuck? Steam. What the shit is that? What the shit is that, girl? Well, it's not a dungeon. I can I can tell you that much for her. This must be our final area. To describe the sheer amazement we felt when we emerged on the other side of the portal, I fear words do not do it justice. Before us was a vibrant world where the memories of the departed abided and reveled in bygone days. Living memory, or so the Antlers called it. How they laughed and smiled as they reminisced upon unfulfilled dreams, alive in all perceivable ways, yet knowing no loss. So resplendent was every ilm of this paradise, the words rose unbidden to my lips. All this time, it was here, the city of gold. I'm lost, bro. <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. We've literally stepped into the Akuid legend. Whichever reflection this may be, it would seem the barrier between here and the source is thin in Yaktel. But I'm saying the Yaku's visions and the location of the gate. Hey, Arabelle, that bug kid over there, you don't speak it's, it's real, do you? An actual volcano swimming forth lava in the middle of the city? I'd like to see that. Hey, you never know! Look, there's a path down, let's see where it goes. You fool. You think I'm going to follow a path? Foolish! Whee! Ow, my legs! It's another pit. Oh no, it's not. Weird. Oh wow, okay. Leonite arrow. Leonite pyros. Magnemo. Rahak, you good? Good boy. There's no mistake in the design of this ether, right? Oh yeah, no, this is definitely the same. I like the music. Honestly, I've had no complaints about the music this expansion. Like, actually, the only complaint I've actually had is that, for some reason, some of the areas the music cuts out for a little bit before looping again. It's weird. It's strange, though. I've never seen this place. Been this place before. It somehow makes me feel nostalgic. Unlike every cube with all its advanced technology, here it's brick and stone. It's like we've traveled to the past. The vents may be more superficial than you think. Take a look, good look at the buildings around us. There's a lick trope everywhere, along with my raid contraptions. Oh yeah, speed protects your image on soldiers. I believe this city's appearance is artificial. This ether is I don't look the one in ether cube, is it not? Ever cube. This is just this place is Alexandrian. That would seem a fair assumption. In light of all this, could be the city's ever keeps from seeing to love them? Probably. Welcome, friends. Welcome. Oh, who the fuck is this? Hello? Who are you? My name's Constancy, and like you, I am an endless. Uh, no. Let's let him pretend. Let's let him think we are. We were create, recreated from the memories of those who have exhausted their souls. Departed, in other words. Great efforts to ensure the integrity of rivers, so feel like no different from when you're flesh and blood. Let's go along with it for now. I am caretaker here at Living Memory, City of the Endless. It is my pleasure to provide guidance to newcomers such as your good selves. City of, um, of the Endless. At a glance, since there seems to be many different facilities, what kind of place is this? Sally Put is a recreational attraction. 
The city is divided into four areas, each of which kept our scenery in which that once defined our continent. Mm. In this way that we ensure that what is lost is not forgotten, that all precious memories endure forevermore. And ever keeps early days this place is used by the living, so, but this it was it was made a heavy haven for the endless hundreds of years later. Well, if you please follow me, I shall give you a guided tour. Do take care, as wildlife brought here for preservation ro roams freely. But hold on a moment. Well, tour would be interesting. It's Fiend that we've come to see. Oh, so you wish to meet the Queen? In that case, you are in luck. It was just announced that Her Majesty will enter into a slumber, but there's still time. If you reject calling to her before the mezzo terminal at the center of the city, she would likely appear. I'm not sure things are, things work around here, but let's head to this mezzo terminal. Oh, thanks, Constance. We'll take you up on the tour next time. I shall look forward to it. Good luck seeking out Her Majesty. Woo! Okay. Hey. Quite sweet and enjoys meeting your people. I'm going to have a shield here for you at the mezzo terminal. Oh, she'll be so oh she'll be so fucking surprised. She'll be like, uh what? Are you following me all follow me all the way out here? What the shit? How did you get here? Very carefully. Uh here it is. There we go. What are these three? I just want to see what this does first. Oh, nothing. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, real fast, I am going to go grab some more water, both for myself and my Archon. And then we will get back to the stream. Uh, I will be right back. Won't be long. Let me let me zoom in on my character. Ah. There, so you can see her pretty face. Anyway, I'll be right back. Just gonna put my thing up and.
I'm back. Right. Uh, there we go. Oh. All right, we need to do something about that earring. Um, it'll be mm -hmm, grabbed. I know, I know, we're leaving. We're leaving the final area of Dawn Trail to fucking do. I'm gonna fix my stupid glamour plate, but this is. That's just life, I guess. <sighs> Wish it would load faster, though. First off, what we're gonna do there it is. I don't know why this is the earring that's on there, but especially why I would have preferred having the carbuncle on there. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, back to what we were doing. Oh interesting. It's under the Alexandrian banner. Interesting, interesting. Spy will be there in a second. Okay, let's go. I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong. The mezzo terminal? It is. The video game told me as much. Here we go. Let's see if Sveen will actually respond to us. Sveen? Are you there? She gets even closer. If you are, say something. We need to talk. I literally followed you across dimensions to talk to you. Come back. Sveen. Wonder how long it's been for her already. Hmm. That you should come here. I haven't known you long, Sveen, but I know you have a good heart. Your love for your people is proof of this. I can't let you do what you're trying to do. And deep down, I don't think you want to do it either. I want a world without suffering. A world where nothing is lost. Would that such a place existed, but the endless only grow in number, and ever more life forces needed to sustain them. Within the barrier, we have managed to curb the cycle of rebirth these few hundred years. But we've reached the limit. That is why I looked to interdimensional fusion. To harvest what we needed from your world. Yeah, we only ended up getting more people. But I don't think that helps. From your people. And with the key... We will have it. That's not gonna work. 
<laughs> something's going to give. And once you've plundered our world of ether, what then? Will you do the same to others? All men eventually die. If you make endless of everyone, you will never have enough ether to sustain them. You but prolong the inevitable. Exactly. Also, like, if she destroys the source, there's a very real possibility that she'll destroy this world anyway. Sveen, if you would nevertheless persist in this folly, we must stand against you. For we too have people we cannot lose. Places to which our hearts belong. Damachi, I would have loved nothing more than to work hand in hand with you to tend our nations. But fate is cruel. By the time it had brought us together, our futures had already been written. You're just too cowardly to rewrite them, Sveen. That's the problem here. The kind and gentle Queen Sveen was too weak to serve her people, and so she will serve them no more. I will erase all memories of the living Sveen, she who has cursed me with this soft and powerless nature. Didn't that go against the very Free point of the endless? I shall become a ruler that can protect Alexandria. A devourer of worlds. When two nations cannot protect their own without doing harm to the other, there can only be one resolution. It is a hard truth. But one you understand, don't you? I just keep looking at me. Stop looking at me. This evil is not inevitable. Find another way. I'm afraid we're out of time. The process has begun. Oh no! Do you not consider that this might be detrimental to your people too? Like, uh. Like, I'm pretty sure Roth to see living memory get fucked up. Well, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Ugh, what do we do now, damn it? I thought they had come to understand speed, but I'm still clueless. Utterly clueless. Those who live forever. It doesn't seem like we do much else here. Let's return to the Aether right for now. The caretaker constancy. Stop. Constance, perhaps you can tell us more about this business of Sveen going into slumber. Well, she's literally erasing her memories of Sveen. She's basically ripping out a part of herself. All for the sole purpose of being able to do something that she would not be able to do otherwise. Well, this is this is just gonna end in tears for literally everybody involved. It's like a small little family.
Okay. Well, this is shit. It's nowhere in sight. Perhaps she's taking uh, other recent arrivals on a tour. Looking for someone, are you? Yes, he was here just earlier. A fellow named Constance. Hey, you fucker! Wait, what? Hey, Aaron Bell. Uh, I think we found your bomb. Hello, everyone. You made it here. As I knew you would. Is that who I think it is? It is. It's cut. Ch Can you fucking put it out to me? Where was it? Get it, and then I fucking lose it again. No, no, that was the first time some of you are seeing me in the proverbial flesh, isn't it? These drives, then. She who was patrolling the unassuming machine was a ravishing Shotona maiden. That was a bit much, wasn't it? Ignore me. So it was true. But you're here means. I tried to tell you so many times, but my courage always failed me. I am indeed an endless. Have been for quite a while now. How did you die? Aaronville. Now you've come to South Steen, right? Yes, I can help with that, but I have a core request to make. You know how to stop her then? There are no well there are no guarantees. Your coming here makes a distinct possibility. As my wish is relevant to your mission, will you hear me out? You could decide what to do afterwards. Excellent. To begin, we'll need it to head to a different area. Oh? See that sentry? I'll have them grant you access to the zip line. Okay. Zip line? What is that? A fun mode of transport. I don't see much use, though, as we endless can teleport freely within loving memory. This particular line will take you to a zone called Canal Town. I'll be waiting for you there. Damn, I was kind of hoping she'd teleport away. <laughs> With that enduring pushiness, it could only be her. Let's go. Oh, Aaron, that's like I don't know how to feel about any of this. You don't to be error, error, user registration confirmed. If you would come to downtown, the resort of romance or relax relaxation, please enjoy your stay. I'm guessing this might be the oldest form of Alexandria, possibly. What a charming place. That's them. The people speed strives to protect. They look happy. So it's this request of yours. I want you to race us. Race the endless. What? Well then. I'm still like, reminding the people of the uh of some of the people we ran into in Ultima Thal. Oh, 
come now, spare me those gloomy faces. Being alive, you're the only ones who could do this. But we won't have a better opportunity now than now, whilst Queen Sweet is busy preparing to initiate interdimensional fusion. Is it wrong? It's wrong to sacrifice others to see the endless, as I firmly believe. But talking to you now, you seem as real as any of us. If you need an answer right away, I don't know if I can give it. So there's a reason we need to act so soon? As you said, it's wrong to sacrifice others to sustain us. Are we in life force? Other forms of ether don't cut it. In the beginning, we managed with the ether of those who died in the barrier. But as our numbers grew, there began to be a shortage. That's queen, why Queen's Fiend looked to other sources. Even the ether I'm composed of may come from the victims of the attack on Toliola. I can't bear that thought. Can't bear to exist because someone died. We probably feel the same way if we were in your shoes. But exa what exactly are you asking us to do? Each show there's enormous data storage device called the terminal. That is where our memories are kept. If you shut down terminal, the memories within will disappear, along with the those endless created from them. But does this need to be done now? Can we stop speeding first and then take it from there? It's precisely in, precisely in order to stop speeding that we must do that must be done now. All of the memories are stored within the meso terminal, which stands at the heart of living memory. As you expect, terminals, the fences are extremely tight. Those moments of availability, such as when it has just finished calculations, which we can to shut it down from within. While we wait for that opening, we erase the endless. Once we are gone, speed will no longer have a reason to plunder ether from other worlds. Would speed simply allow you, allow us to shut down the terminals? In preparation, in preparation for fusion, the Mezzo Terminal is currently performing mass calculations while gathering energy. Even if the system notices, it cannot easily suspend the process. Rather than doing so, I believe it will attempt to accelerate the time tunnel of bridge worlds before the planet can be thwarted. It wouldn't be a decision Sephine would wish to make, but she would be able to save those who are stored in the Mezzo Terminal, at least. There's sense in your strategy, and in resolving to stop Sephine, we anticipate that might come to this. But to actually talk about racing the endless is difficult. We ain't feeling guilt. No matter how lifelike we seem, we endless are but best similes crafted for memories. Besides, stopping speed requires you shut down the mezzo terminal, which sustains all of us. Sooner or later, it will be need to be done. Here will be erased and let me before more people come to harm. Living, breathing people with futures they deserve to experience. I'll do as you ask, even if this wrinkles me a little bit. Thank you for respecting my wish. As a personal request, while her actions cannot be condoned, I ask that you for Queen's feet a measure of understanding. Unless she herself didn't choose to become an endless. Her gloves are the same as Aaron Bell's. It's pres preservation that made the choice for her. She's powerless to resist her purpose. What do you mean? Speen, you know, is an ideal that preservation brought to life. Harnessing the love the living Speen bore for her people, they brought forth an eternal queen whose primary directive is to preserve the endless. By his young, the endless consume ether. Speen was com compelled to find ways to procure it, and then compulsion has driven her to resort to interdimensional fusion. Why, are you telling the original Speen wouldn't have chosen this? What the queen might have done, only she herself would know. But the scientists of preservation had vanished. Leaving their creed queen to walk alone. So as you go about your mission, think not that about that you're stopping a ruthless villain, rather that you're relieving a troubled soul of her burden. All right, I understand now both your reasoning and your feelings. But before we erase the endless, I'd like to know them. I'd like to know what she fights tooth and nail for. If we're going to reject someone's beliefs, that'd be after we've come to understand them. This lesson I learned from the right of succession. I believe we, I realize we're pressed for time, but sorry with you, I want to meet as many people as I can. The true Gulajaz Jaws kitten. Well, the calculations will take a while still. 
You should be fine if we do this as we proceed to the terminals. I'm with you. We might not be able to learn everything, but it would nevertheless be meaningful if we glimpse the heart of those who have this place before we set them free. Also, we might find Kyle's parents here somewhere. I'll leave you to it then. When we finish here, come and find me at the fountain near the big clock tower. Alright, let's split up and find some locals to speak with. It really is a little place. You should run along and enjoy it while you can. Yep, yeah, there. Same hairstyle. Why does this keep happening? Why do I keep... Yeah, actually getting the, uh, using the same hairstyle at some point as one of the mom characters. God damn it! This ha this happened with Ama Ameliates as well, because I was using her hairstyle for a little while. Uh. You there, have you tried the popcorn from that stall? You haven't? You don't know what you're missing. I consider myself something of a gourmand, and believe me when I say that class the classic salt flavor is amazing. The saltiness is simply exquisite. That's the only way to describe it. Once you have a mouthful, it's impossible to stop until it's all done. After you tried that, I urge you to seek out other cells. There are lots of them everywhere, offering all manner of delights. For another recommendation, off the top of my head, the rec ice cream over in As Asli Balcani. It's so smooth and cream and rich and... Oh, uh, just so bad. Give me a heart behavioring. That's it. I'm gonna go and have some right now. Hello there. Taking in the sights of Canal to Town too, are you? Both my wife and I just adore this place. We have become a stranger life, she and I, but being here gave us a chance to reconcile. I feel even more grateful for the chance to spend this, these blessed little moments together. Again. I have no more regrets. Whether my ja Majesty's plan succeeds or no, I caress with peace in my heart. Well, we should tune our way, but we hope to see you all again. Till next time. Let's hope the water spirit spirit doesn't attack me. Oh, it's a, it's a passive. Never mind. Well, now I don't think I've ever seen you around before. Newcomer, I take it. It's wonderful here. Let me tell you. Why well, I just bumped into a dear friend in my in life, and we willing away the hours we're missing. It might have been more like days, actually. You don't get a sense of ta the time here. By the way, did you hear the announcement earlier? As much as I love this place, I wonder if Queen's Queen's Fiend can really sustain us forever. But I suppose it's no use worrying about such things. Anyway, thanks to you. We found a break in our conversation. We'll go and ride the garden one next. I'm getting the vibe that maybe people don't care that much. Erastus? Who's that? Hello. Hello there. Welcome, welcome. Have a browse. Let me know when you're ready to order. You're here on the, the that lady's recommendation as well, I take it. I'm worrying about the endless due persistence, so it seemed a good opportunity to learn. I just popped my knee out. Oh, this is your first time eating, is it? No, no but okay. The food here is created using ether and memory data. To us, it tastes like just like the real thing. So how about we care for some popcorn? Oh God, here we go. Let's give it a try, shall we? Is this gonna end up being like the ether thing from the fucking via? That's a spirit. Find a table you like and I'll bring it right out. Unless you're right, there's no charge. All the food's free here. I mean, I guess you're all fucking dead, so what's the point? God, yeah, no, if there's capitalism in the fucking afterlife, I'd be so pissed. Food prayed with memory data. How will this taste the living, I wonder? I mean, it looks real, but stick it in your mouth, Raha. Well, as I say, there's only one way to find out. All right, let's try this. Let's try this memory memory foam popcorn. That's what we call it, memory foam popcorn. 
You sample handful of popcorn. Well, it has texture. You can just take no taste whatsoever. Delightful. Well, that's fun. Pecans. Tastes like nothing at all. Uh, pretend to be happy. Pretend to be happy. Or, I mean, it's amazing. I've never had such tasty popcorn. Hey, it's our bestseller for nothing. What about you? Uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Aha! It's always special watching the cover for the first time. They did the, the in fucking solution I do. Yeah, let me see I get my character grab a flashback too. Just like the people never keep. My communal spirit, their light smells exactly the same. Thank you for your custom. Come along again anytime. By the way, prior to this, a young man caught my eye near the canal. He appeared to be searching for something, rather frantically. You pretend to see him too. Now lead the way, bro. No? I must say, I'm curious as well as I'm so flustered. Can you help me look for the fellow? No thanks. I said the wire room saw him. I'm gonna put paint all over your floors, and you're not gonna be able to get rid of it. It's gonna be there forever and ever. <laughs> Tatsumi is no longer in the vicinity. Let's keep looking. Wherever is the troublesome, perhaps we can be of assistance. I can't explain to know exactly how endless behave, but hopefully our man has not gone too far. Let's swim to search for him. He is an Eldite with fair hair. If I remember right, the Eldites were just Elzins. If I remember right. Hello. Hello. Anyone? Oh, oh, I saw the icon. Quest struck me down. We're reunited again after a hundred years. What should happen? Oh, yes, my apologies, but I'm in some haste. If you would something to say, please make it brief. Your friend knows that I in trouble, so you've been looking for me? What kind souls you are. I have lost something important. The important the engagement ring I intended for my beloved. Beloved. <laughs> a lanky monkey like thing stole from me. After running hither and th thither, I managed to locate the beast in yonder scare, but I'm sure certain how to I should take the ring back. Once I might have considered fighting for it, but given the shortage of aether, the danger is simply too great. If I have to be struck down my essence first, I'm not likely to be remade for a long time. I can't risk that. Not after my beloved is finally be given form again after a hundred years. Well, if it pains me to do so, I shall give up on the ring. But I thank you for the kind concern. I can get the ring. I can get the ring. That's easy shit. I'll get the ring. Your ring. Again. Was there something else? Is this the ring you're looking for? What happens? This is the ring. You took it back from that beast? I'm well known for my combat prowess back home. Thank you. Thank you ever so much.
and see where I solve, resolve the situation. Lucy, the friend who first knows me. Are you my gratitude as well? My name is Eclipse. I was planning to promise my beloved with the ring. I think to you I can do just that. Oh well, that is a that is cause to rejoice indeed. The two of you meet here? No, we are sweethearts in life, but I died young and surely followed me decades later. Even then, our reunion hasn't yet to be, for the ether short means that everyone can be recreated. I had to wait until but recently to see her again. A reunion beyond death. Such a thing would be possible here, I suppose. I assume we're newly arrived. Well, memories are stored in the terminals. Less than one in ten of us has been given form at present. I myself have been re reincarnated three times now, and each time there seems to be a few of us. It's fairly a miracle that my beloved that I can meet. You see, given the circumstances, the chances of existing concurrently with my acquaintance would be slim indeed. And slim yourself, our loved one. Truly, that's why I decided to do that which I felt to do in life. Ask her for her hand. With her calculator, she was spared the sadness of my death. Even so, she ne never took another man for the rest of her days. She told me that although she couldn't remember me afterwards, she could never shake the feeling that someone for surprises had been in her life. That's sweet. Mm. The ring represents a yearning I have long carried, though I know full well it was only a construct, like these bodies of ours. There's a part of me that wonders if this is wrong, but I expect to say not that I expect this to exist forever, even in this form. But to be the one I love like once again and make her happy. However wrong this world may be, I have nothing but gratitude for Queen's being. Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall go and make that proposal. I've made her wait long enough as is. This isn't much, but please accept it as a token of my thanks. Tickets? For the gondola! To ensure that order is preserved, we must observe the proper way of doing things, even here. It's very much like Queen's Speed to make it so, is it not? Take care, my friends, and see to it you have no regrets. What are you implying? I mean, I'm 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 one hundred percent okay with uh, going on a gondola trip with Raha, but I I think they meant for us, buddy. Well, I think it's time we rejoin the others. What do you say we go by gondola? I expect it will be possible to do so once the terminal has been shut down. Come on then, let's seek a vessel at the pier. Raha, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You can push off at any time. Mind the gap when you board. I will not. I'm going to tip this entire gondola on its side on purpose. For the funsies. Now that would take a lot of effort. Ah, oh, it wiggles! Love that. So, Raha, how you doing? You feeling, you feeling good? I think we got your chest. Or you're just gonna enjoy it. Yeah, let's enjoy it. Oh, hey! Let's do. I don't think that hat looks very good on her, but I'm not going to be mean about it to their faces. Do you remember oh. what I said to you before all this? A voice of God's voice in the heart. That life is a series of journeys that you must be true to yourself for indeed there's no telling what awaits mm -hmm. that was months ago for me in, in real time I but i don't know about you but i certainly didn't expect to behold such sights the future is as fluid as the water beneath us truly tell me my friend have you ever wished to be reunited with someone who has passed away? Mm. Yeah, I guess. I have. 
I do. But I think, above all else, I wish that they had lived. If only for one more day. <laughs> Just one more day. A joyous one, <laughs> if I could choose. I did all that I could to make it happen. Oh. I tried everything. I'm spared nothing. Are you talking about us? In that manner, I was able to keep some few souls out of harm's way. But so... So many were beyond my power to save. What would I have done then? Had I this? Oh, Raha. And you? Can you imagine yourself spending eternity here, knowing no loss? I think I'd get bored. <laughs> like, like, Warrior of Light would probably get bored. They'd probably want to move on and see other things, but they wouldn't be able to because, you know, they're a spirit now. It was a nice to chat with you again, my friend. It feels as though it's been some time. Having met Endless like in class, I feel like I've been since being a little better. I want to visit those dear to them, uh, would wish those dear to them a long and happy future. The spirits have earned that this is our all of our subjects. Yeah, as Pryle said, we two have people we can't lose. Come, God. We can go to the back to be a yonder bridge. Buddy. Ah! That's the bubbles, except evil. I feel like Sarah's gonna get a little more packed with enemies once we uh, clear it out. Shh, Maybe. Or maybe I'm wrong. Well, Anvil are still out and about, it seems. So how was it? How are your impressions of those you meet? It was great. Everyone was so happy and excited that made me happy too. What about you, Kiran? I mean, they were happy, but they also seemed totally okay if they just disappeared, too. So here's reunited? That's a miracle. Well, it's a miracle after a fashion. The system tries to make such encounters possible. You met someone you knew, you know, it's probably not by chance. The terminal is holding bridge and unknown little, little longings. And use them to orchestrate reunions like eight classes. See, that the trolls could do this is impressive indeed. There's one thing I do not understand. To an eighth class, his beloved passed away decades after he did, yet they appear to be able to, like, age. Ah, uh, yes. People are not necessarily created as they were when they were passed away. First, appearance of an endless, I speculate, Earth likes the happiest period in their life. So the case for you, then. Not that you tell how old you are, as slowly as your people age. I'm not sure, to be honest. I have so many happy times, it's hard to know which one applies. If we see if Namika's here and she's the age when she raised Wukula, I'm going to scream into the void. I'm insufferably inquisitive. Whether it's nature or next technology, I can't help but want to learn more about the world around me. I might say that discovery is what gives me joy. It may be happy in life, and may have been a blessing afterwards. Yeah, they're endless are content with what they have here, you see. They don't develop the urge to leave. But I was so determined to see the world again that I taught myself how to gain control of a vessel and ventured outside. Hey, you're a proper rebel. Well, that's enough about me for now. While we wait for Kryle and Arendel, I have a fun to ask of you. As many of you know, most of the fountains aren't running. That's because it's despite its shiny appearance, the city is centuries old, and everything is dreadfully run down. Fountains probably used to put on magnificent shows. I was hoping that I could get one working again. Giving the control units a dose of ether should be enough to restore the circuits and switch them on, but being an endless, I'm unable to do that. I realize this is a selfish request, but at the last 
I like to treat the people here to the display. Just leave it to us. I'd love, I'd love to see the show myself. Alright, let's do it. Thank you. The control units are built into the surrounding lampposts. If you tend to a few of them each, you'll be done before you know it. Once the fountains are fixed, we can round up Ellen, Aaronville and Kyle and head to the hydro terminal together. So time is nigh. Come, let us set to it. This feels weird. Just because, like, are we the Mechion in this situation? No, 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 we're not. It's fine. I'm sorry. All right, let's begin, I guess. We've switched on the circuits like you asked. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully, this does the trick. Collectors come alive. Amazing. Wow. Look, Mother, look. I just realized what this place makes me think of. It makes me think of theme park. These people are just living in an eternal theme park. Yikes. I don't know how you could stand living in a theme park forever. What? Oh, where are you? Wuklamat. By the gods. Oh no. It's Namika. Begging your pardon, but I'm looking for a child, a small Shabrali girl. Have you seen her by chance? What the fuck? Why didn't she recognize? You, you are Namika, aren't you? It's me, Wuklamat. Don't you recognize me? Oh, what am I to do? The child and I, we aren't related by blood. But she's as dear to me as my own. She not here? Is it like Google Watts not there? It's all right. You found her. I'm here. You? Could it be? Yes, Namika. You know these eyes, this voice. It's me, Wuklamat. Oh! It is you! Oh, how silly of me! But if you're here, 
that that means... No, no. I'm still alive. Oh. Good, good. Thank the gods for that. But what power has brought us together again? This isn't a dream, is it? It's not a dream. Or rather, it is a dream come true. I so want to hear your voice one more time. Just look at you, my Wuklamat. Stronger and more assured than I've ever seen. Such hazards you must have braved, and hardships endured to come so far. It was tough, but I made it thanks to my friends. And to you, Namika. I'm not trying to be alone. And glass water, it's fine. I'm the person I am now because you always believed in me. Because you loved me as if I were your own daughter. God. Thank you. Thank you. You're everything I could have asked for. The best mother. Ah, I'm so glad. Oh, what's happening? Looking back, I've had a blessed life, and it was because I was a part of yours. When I lost my child to illness, I thought I'd never know happiness again. But it rekindled in my breast the instant you smiled your little smile at me. You became yeah. my purpose, my Joy. Oof. You were mine too. I'm upset. Okay, I'm okay. To have this chance to speak with you again and leave nothing unsaid. I know not how or why, but I am grateful. So grateful. Where you must go, I cannot follow. But know that I'll always be with you. Take care of yourself. Promise me. I will, Mama. I will. And one day, we'll meet again. I understand why Sving cannot bear to let them go. But as painful as it is to part, we're meant to live and die. To let go and let others carry on in our stead. We can't cling to everything forever. Come, let's keep moving. Spirit is going to kill me. Spirit is going to kill me.
Oh my gosh. I fucking hate it. I hate it here. <laughs> Let me out. Oh. Put paint in your water. Get fucked. You're gonna not need, you're not gonna need this water in the next couple minutes, so get fucked. Oh boy. Alright, let's smash it. Just to make sure, you're not gonna spare when we shut this terminal down, right? Not just yet. This arrow terminal that in the northwestern zone that holds my memories. You already know how to operate the terminal. It's the same process as the fountains control. I leave you to decide for you to decide when to shut it down. Doing so will cause endless here to fade away, together with this beautiful scenery. You still wish to speak with people or see the sights, so you'll want to do that first. I know that person will start playing all time to its present form. Let me, let me, is there any side quests? No. Okay. Well. Wait, wait, wait. That's not what I want to do. I want to do this. There we go. I just want to take a couple pictures. That's it. Okay. Turn this shit off. I got my pictures. Let's go. I'm guessing we're either going to do arrow next or arrow last. It still looks cool. It's just a different type of pool now. I knew those seats were hard, stone. Sleep tight, everyone. This hurts. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. But the only way know now is forward. We're still a little 99 quest! What the fuck? Don't tell me yourself so. I ask this of you, so the burn lies with me. And remember, we endless are but facilities crafted by memories. You need to feel guilty erasing us. Be that as it may, it's so hard to say goodbye. It is nonetheless it's our duty as living to know and remember them. So let's pull those stairs together and keep at it. Keep seeking them out. I appreciate that. Come, let's head to the next zone. Yes, sir, lad, it's called. And then the zip line of the gate of the rumors will take you there. Ah, by that mention. While well, setting down a terminal should erase the ends bound to it, those with strong or resolved feelings may linger for a time. If you encounter such individuals, perhaps you lend them an ear, for their hopes are proof that they once lived. Shut up. Stop. Stop. The game keeps going, hey, hey, yeah, nudge, nudge. <laughs> we we know what you're thinking about, and I am like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, dude. Why would you do this to me? Ugh, okay. Let's go back. Let's just teleport back to the ether, right? It's simpler that way. <laughs> <sighs>
Same route complete. Error, error, user registration confirmed. I bid you welcome to the Esterland, where the dreams of children and their children alike come true. Please enjoy your stay. I'm okay. Oh, okay. Wonderful. See anyone we know here. Amazing. So this place, is this also a recreation of an actual place? After a fashion, the Israel ladies themed upon a period of peace before the storm surge had engulfed the world in conflict. And it was the golden age for Alexandria, and they've captured here in the form of an amusement park. Well now, another large-scale attraction. <laughs> no, that's true. It is kind of like that, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, the pixies were like that. You mean to visit the pixies' gardens of dreams? Thank goodness you're still with us. Oh, they tried to drown me. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. It didn't work. I can't drag me drown. Anyway, Tis all too easy to lose oneself in such a wondrous place. By the time you think to leave, dozens of years may have already passed. Perhaps the same could be said of this place. They literally have trash cans that look like amusement park ones. I'm so mad. On the far side of your light is a castle. That's where the terminal is located, in the basement. I'll go on ahead and wait for you there. Take what time you need to get acquainted with the locals. Have fun now. Like before, we'll speak of endless. We'll learn what the dear to them would like before doing what we must. Uh, all right, let's start by exploring and get our bearings. I'm serious. I saw a fucking trash can that looks like a fucking theme park one. I'm not kidding. Where is it? Fucking turn around. Let me. I want to fucking look at it. I want to look at it. Let me see it. You bastards. There are fucking is. Look at this shit. This is like a theme park. This is the fucking theme park thing. God, this place really is just a fucking theme park. Enchanting floor fresco. I'm gonna touch it. Stick my hand in it. Move for awkward on the ground and depicts a swirl of stars. Perhaps such a sight was once filled visible in the Alexandrian night sky. Well, hello there, miss. We were just talking about Sir Otis. Do you know him? He's a bit odd and doesn't get jokes, but he's really strong and can big wish beans in a flash. He's probably out there fighting right now. When I grow up, I want to be strong like him. Uh, what? <laughs> sorry, sorry, excuse me. Uh, he's dead. We watched him die. Pretty to be a docile domicile. The visibility resembles what that lay submerged in heritage found. The windows are composed of a colorful array of stained glass. Sir Otis, this shows be a false mind of another Otis. And maybe we're seeing the man now to confirm his identity. This is just a fucking theme park. This, just, <laughs> this, this whole place is a theme park. It's a theme park to keep the dead entertained for the rest of existence, but it's not going to work for everyone. Uh, hello? Okay. Oh my god, are we actually going to see what he looks like for reals? A man is engaged in battle with beans. He may need a helping hand. Let's go. Pow! They're cute, though. They're like, they're like, ghost-themed bats. Which I guess is the point, but... 
I know not who you are, but my thanks for your timely aid. Hey, okay. Your bait's so strong. That was really no problem at all, kiddo. That was amazing, Otis. And you too, miss. <laughs> Fiends such as these are naught to be feared. Well then, dealt with it already, have you? Yeah, it's taken care of, don't worry about it. Be at ease, one and all. So long as I, Sir Otis, live and breathe, no citizen shall come to harm. Otis? Of all the people, could you really be that Otis? Oh boy, no, he's no us. I'm certain I do not know what you mean by that Otis. I am who I am. And I should very much like to know who you are. You're Sir Otis Velona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria, yes? We met you while searching for Gululja. You cooked a most delicious repast for us. Fought beside us in Solution 9. Gululja? Solution 9? I never heard of such things. Oh, Otis. These events of which you speak are utterly unknown to me, as are you. I'm quite confident I would recall if we had met before. Could this be? <gasps> Villainy! You seek to bewilder me for purposes most foul! No, no. No villainy intended, I swear. Calm down, dude. Tell me I'm not mad. This is definitely the Otis we know. Right? A earlier version. People all remember his time as a machine. I say! What are you whispering about there? Wait. I've no time for this. I must attend to my preparations for the founding celebration. The children begged and begged that I perform in the marquee play, and I cannot possibly disappoint them. I take my leave of you. Good day. No need to be so angry. Founding celebration? I'm guessing it's something to do with the founding of Alexandria, despite the name of it being a founding celebration. Gods, what a surprise to me, Otis. It might not be the exact same as when we met in Heritage Found, but still. Thinking back, he mentioned you as a test subject for soul preservation. That actually might explain why he's here in this way. And I guess I'd like to talk to him some more. There's some things I need to tell him. Oh, we're still in the 99s. Gotcha! Alright, let's go after Otis. He's bound to know something about the past. About the Alexandria of old as well as Fiend when she was a living person. Well, as he doesn't seem in the mood to talk, perhaps we could offer to help him with the found the standing celebration. That might warm him up to us. He set out this way. Come on! Where are you going through? There's no section here, there's section here and over here. Right over here. Oh, don't tell me he's up there. The game really is just saying, oh, go, go for it. Oh, no, he's right here. I think fine. Okay.
are harmed or are or are you unharmed? Mm, the latter, methinks. Special Highness replied with a winsome smile. I am thanks. I am thanks to you, my dear Sodas. Okay, man. It's you again. Shall I play the part of the queen? I appreciate that, but there's no need. The script is my own work, you see, and I know Princess Sveen's lines even better than mine own. There is, however, a scene in which I struggle. Hey, this looks like fun. Can I join in? You as well? I thought I said I was busy. You did, but we thought that maybe we could help. You're getting ready for the founding celebration, yes? And I am, and if truth be told, we are in dire need of assistance. For this edition of the celebration, there's to be a play about the history of our realm for the children's enjoyment. With few of us, fewer of us being given form, we have enough hands to carry out the production. Thus have I been tasked with not only writing the script, but before me as myself besides. Calm oh, down, it's alright. We really are happy to help any way we can. Just tell us what to do. For the same reason the production is shorthanded, it has been difficult to gather a crowd. I'd be obliged if you spread the words of the play to the children of Easterland. But sir, it done. We'll take ourselves around and talk to the younglings. Splendid. Oh, and you better appeal to them, we have adorable costumes for you to wear. Together with your cheeriest, your cheeriest berry, of course. Well, Alright, anything to make the children happy. Oh, girl. Let's see. Ah, yes. This one should be suitable for you. Oh, no. What are we- what are we in? What are they doing to we? To be in, uh... Namachi? What? What? Oh. It's the Amrick outfit. Oh, it's a glamour! I was confused for a moment when you had me the device. I have something in mind for you as well. Let me know when you're ready and I shall activate it for you. Well, here we go. Let's go, let's go! Ready are you? Let's have you drive your costume at once. I live in fear. What did you make me wear? It's the fu- is it the fucking rabbit? That's the fucking rabbit suit. Oh, no dive heat in here. Marvelous. There's not a child that would fail to be delighted. Hey, it really does suit you. <laughs> is this a bit different depending on what, like, race you choose for your character? <laughs> now you're suitably attired, I pray you go forth and promote our play to the children. Concentrate your efforts here in the vicinity of the air cab station and let us see it see that you make it fun. In the meantime, I shall continue my own preparations here. Should your costumes wear off, I shall provide you with another. Splash splash. Oh, the little from beneath. I forgot. Somehow, magically, I get fool. Oh, there's a lookout point up here. Oh, I see. Never mind then. Oh, are you here to look at Queen Sveen too, Mr. Rabbit? That big gold statue. That great big gold statue, exactly what she looks like. That's what my mom told me, and she's a scientist. My mom also told me that ter Terminal is a tomb. Her Majesty must watch over all of us from the there. Play about the realm's founding? I love history, and that sounds great. I'll let my mom know so we can go and watch together. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> 
We ow my legs. Oh ho, a rabbit monster! You shall rue the day you pass past with this royal knight. So her saw that kid has. Oh, it's just a stand run for here. Let's see what you play with knights and stuff. Come on, let's go and watch. We can ride the air cab later. Look, look, it's a rabbit. What is it? Want to play with us? Do you? There's going to be a play about Queen's Fiend. I want to see it. I want to see it. Whatever the castle right away. Thanks for telling us. Oh, hello there, Mr. Rabbit. What's the matter? Ah, uh, the play. I know about it. They sometimes have performances over at the castle. I've seen it before, so I was going to give it a miss. But if you say it's special this time, then all right, I'll go. Well, well, who should have my air cab watching but a person in a silly costume? Let me guess. You're here to tell me about the play. Don't bother. Uh, bother. I've seen it no less than 50 times already. Oh, just think we could perform as himself. That's a new twist to an old classic. All right, just for that, I'm willing to see the play again. An old classic. He sounds like an old man. <laughs> All right, hey, I got to take care of. You finished your making rounds? Excellent. I shall take the costume off your hands. I mean, I can use my hands just fine while wearing it, as as judging by my smudging. Things the two of you. For thanks to two of you promoting the play in my set, I can memorize lines to my satisfaction. I am grateful beyond measure. Don't mention it. It was fun meeting endless children. Endless children? We're well, nothing to say when we're endless ourselves. It's are complicated. I explained it to you, but the play's due to start soon, isn't it? Aye, very soon. I shall need I need to make my way to the venue and see the final preparations. Let's talk later then. We'll be cheering you on from the crowd. By all means. Wait, but hold on. What were you saying before with the play as well? Are, are you serious? Oh, no. Definitely not. I've never done anything like that. I don't think I could learn lines on such a short notice. Haha, <laughs> rest assured it won't be a difficult part. What I've in mind for two of you is a little sword play. A duel between an, an Alexandrian, Alexandrian and Lindbergh Blum soldiers. This certainly pleases the children and without the need for words. Well, what do you think? This Alexandrian knight is going to take you down. <laughs> Not that keen, are you? All right, you asked for it. Now it's settled. I should prepare your co your costumes for you. Needn't by engage in a mock fight. Well, there isn't time for a rehearsal. The little mistakes are all in good entertainment. For that, I shall go in and inform the troop members of the changes. Pray make your way to Proto Alexandria and wait for their instructions. Okay. Oh my god, it's been six, almost six and a half years. Jeez. We still have at least seven quests left. Oh my god. That's the castle where the terminal is. When we shut it down, Mr. Land and then listen, it will also fade away. So let's give them a show to remember. And we'll remember them too. Then what it, what it is they, that they seek to preserve through this celebration. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Yeah, we have to go over here, I think.
I do like the Outriders have different uh, screens on the inside of them. There's like three different ones I've seen so far. There's these like, static ones, that red one. I've seen a uh, like blue or purple one. Uh, rude. I have no interest in you. Leave me be. Chase again. Oh, but it's like, let's see, maybe. Oh, that was close. I haven't seen any either cards yet. Weird. Then again, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> well, this seems to be the right place. What's on the program, I wonder? <laughs> and where are the others, for that matter? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. A great conflict rages over precious Electro, and the Kingdom of Alexandria has been embroiled in the chaos. When the royal capital comes under siege, the kingdom's valiant knights lay their lives on the line for their beloved Princess Sphine. Mm. I bid you keep your handkerchiefs at hand. Now, without further ado... <laughs> ah, yeah, it's a royal knight. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Are you unharmed? Oh, I am thanks to you, my <laughs> dearest Otis. This guy, my dearest. And so, in no small part due to the valor of the royal knights, the kingdom succeeds in repelling the invaders. But their jubilation proves short-lived. For in mad defiance, the enemy unleashes a forbidden weapon which brings about a terrible calamity. Full many lose their lives. The good queen Sphine, shining vision of hope, among them dramatic and falls to her back go 
Oh, oh no. What's happening? Is it over already? <clears throat> and then, though the people grieved their queen's tragic passing, uh, guided by her legacy of compassion, Oh boy. They, um, worked hand in hand to overcome an age of hardship, and in time, they built a peaceful and prosperous Alexandria. A new Alexandria. Oh, no, let's see. <laughs> Fucking improvs on that. Improvs the best that you can. He froze up. <laughs> Pray forgive me. The memories. They had me in a vice grip. All's well that ends well. I wouldn't dwell on it. If I may ask, during your improvisation, you spoke of a new Alexandria. And so I'm given to wonder. Do you hail from a time after my own? Oh, yes, absolutely. We do. And we're living people, not endless. My word. But I should not be <laughs> living in this place. There is another question I dread to speak aloud. A question I couldn't bring myself to pose to newcomers, out of fear of the truth. Well... Alexandria... Does it still exist? I mean, kind of? Sort of? It does. It isn't quite the place you knew, but it endures. The descendants of your people. Walk its streets and live each day to the fullest as proud Alexandrians. They live. We live. I. I had failed to protect my queen, but to hear that, it brings me a measure of peace. You were there too, Otis. That is an incarnation of you. Kind of like what you're like now. Me? That's absurd. But wait. Something comes back to me. When they were researching a means to resurrect Her Majesty, memory preservation or some such, I volunteered to be a test subject. Ah. No. It is a fog I cannot pierce. But pray, tell me. This incarnation of myself. What was he like? A good guy. His brave soul protected his queen to the last. That's not all. He was a father in all but name to the new king, Gululja. Whatever you may have failed to do, you are the noblest of souls, Otis. And your deeds, your sacrifice, gave us hope that we sorely needed. It is a miracle. Merrily. There can be no other way to describe it. What a dork. It is. It really is. We bear the legacy of your other self. And we'd be glad to bear yours as well. My, what comfort you offer. With such dependable souls to take up my shield, I may rest easy indeed. <clears throat> I beg you. Watch over our new king. 
The war changed my queen. To her final moment, grief darkened her gentle countenance. I've not the honor of knowing Galun Ja, but I pray that for all his days, he shall have cause to smile. We'll see to it he does, Odis. I swear. Wow. Well, bye. I'll talk to you one last time before you leave. No explanations are required. I have intuited your purpose. Our past only living may walk. My own is a tremendous life, complete with joy and sorrow both. Ben's out of bright no thanks to you. My have one regret, however, is that I could not meet the new king. Send him my regards, won't you? I want to take some pictures. Picture time, baby. About to say goodbye to this area, so wow. Well, okay, no, that'd be too easy. To say goodbye to this area now. Well, oh, we're here. Are you having doubts? No, I'll do what I came to do. It's just the fonder you are, so mine the harder it is to say farewell. If you're ready, Karan, then I am too. Alright, let me just say, just say a word about those we met here. of others as well we've come to know how much Sveen's people loved her how much they yearned for peace all of this will carry with us I see here we go I think Sabine's finally noticed what we're doing. <laughs> I've been from a sweet dream to bitter reality. I'll never forget my time with the endless or the pain I feel now. We're more than memories stored in machines. As long as someone remembers us and carries out our legacies, we'll never truly fade away. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh shit! Oh shit! Level 100, level 100. We're in the level 100s! Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's put four zeros on there. Level we'll 1,000, no. God. So far, there appears to be no change with the meso terminal. So let's take the opportunity to visit another zone. Alice Volcano in the northeast. The place with the volcano, eh? I suppose we're using the zip line again. You know what? Like before, I'll, head, I'll take care of the guard of the gate of rumors. Come, let's head back. I wonder, so, so, so far, it seems like Wuklamat was the main person here. Uh, Graha was over here. And then Arrow is definitely going to be Aaron Val because that's where his mom's going to go out. So Krell must be over here. By process of elimination. Uh, by process of elimination, that's what I've decided. Error, error, download complete. Here's a registration confirmed. Dauntless Adventures. I bid you welcome to Asus Lady's Falcon, the sanctuary of the strong. Play with courage and honor. Their legend may resound forevermore in the arena of valor. We go to Fireland now. Wow, it's just sitting there, huh? Man, they're really happy about the zip lines in that one dungeon, huh? Oh, it's only illusion. It's only an illusion. It's just a fucking. I'm sorry. Every time I see that fucking trash can, I'm like, I'm like this whole place is just a fucking theme park. What's this now? Don't tell me you're afraid of the lava. Not even like it isn't even real, is it? Oh, definitely not. But don't take my word for it. Jump in and see for yourselves. No need. I believe you. That there is a terminal. Get to it via the caverns that run through the volcano. I'll go ahead and wait for you. Take care, take care, take care around the wildlife now. <laughs> hey, Aaron Bell. Oh, hey, Aaron Bell. I'll explore alone. You ain't worry. I'll get the wildlife of wild birth. Oh, Aaron Bell. Poor Aaron Bell. He's still coming to terms with it. You can hardly blame him. Let's leave him be for now. Come on, let's get moving ourselves. Information kiosk? It looks like an information kiosk to me. Oh my god, I just want to go. There we go. Oh, yeah, there really is. Oh, how fun! I'm sure everyone who has a fear of heights just goes trembling across this, like, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die, oh god, oh my god, you know? How far away? Oh, it's just up here. Looks like we have two paths to choose from. I thought I saw her taking the left, though. Well, that seemed to be a detour. I must say, I'm rather curious about the round building. Well, I'm always up to see the ground. Let's follow after her and see what that building's all about. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going this way. Oh. 
Oh god, I'm too good. Run! Well now, who came this way too? Great minds, as they say. This appears to be a fighting arena. Is it also a recreation of an actual place? In all likelihood. Well, I don't know the details. I understand such facilities were once common across the land. Though it's close at the moment, even Solution 9 has the Arcadian. It may well be a legacy of the past. Anyway, it seems the next match is about to begin. As I've already spectated my film, I'll move on, but you have to head inside for a look. Oh, we're, I was gonna we were gonna go in and have touching that, but I'm just having giving us a touching now. Alright, who will we see in the ring? Oh, there's not many people here. Uh, couple of uh, fell. Or me Lala, as they're called in Alexandria. Are these ink mages? Oh, uh, these. Yeah, no, I'm wondering if. Okay, so the, that looks. So the Heroes Goblet, they, they didn't have Arcanus, but they had Ink Mages, who were similar to Arcanus. And some, but they were the most summoners and scholars, and that they were DPS, but they still used magic for meats. That rather resembles Arcanima, wouldn't you agree? Indeed. While similar arts could have developed independently across reflections, this verges on being identical. Not many people, huh? <gasps> okay, excuse me? Okay. Mm, I guess I was right about this being about Kryle. Okay. What? Do we know each other from somewhere? Come on, dear. Oh, I'm sorry, but I must be going. Get out to the area. Please. You're new here, I gather. It may seem strange at first, but give it time. You'll grow accustomed to it soon enough. No, I don't understand. No, no, no I, I'm not. Uh, rather, I'm. Uh, oh. What can I say? Of course. This earring. Do you recognize it? Impossible. My name is Kryl. When I was a baby, I was taken from this world to another, where I grew up without knowledge of my past. I know not how much time has passed for you, and, uh, the things may not be as you expect them to be, but I'm here now. I found my way back. This earring, it contained a code with which I was able to reopen the gate, and I did, and I'm here, and... 
Could it be as she claims? She's not lying. I can tell. And there is no mistaking the earring. Oh. How you've grown, my darling daughter. It has been 20 years. Well, at least someone got it to plug this expansion. I've been demanding hugs for someone's entire expansion. Uh, yes, names. I'm Robor, and this is Alila, your mother. Doubtless we have a mountain of questions for each other, but perhaps we can take this somewhere quieter? The heat wells, for instance. There's a spot there where we can relax and chat. I'm going to die now. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe this is some Arthur Stray in this reunion as well. Forgive me, this is all so much to take in. I'm struggling with my thoughts. Taste of family. Alright, I feel a little calmer now. I thought myself prepared for the possibility that I should come face to face with my parents for was overwhelming. I departed from them as an infant, I'm not sure how to behave. Take your time. After everything that has happened, you deserve service to do so. You have many things to say to one another. Now you can say them. Indeed, this is a meaning to be cherished. Just do what comes natural, eh? Thank you, everyone. I'll make the most of our time together. I will be we'll be sitting we'll we'll be sitting at another table peering over books and newspapers going, Oh we're not eavesdropping, I swear. I swear we're not eavesdropping. We're going to eavesdrop it. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> I'll stop by the... the right and then go over. Now leave me alone! I don't want to play with you! Well, how it's like simulated rage! I don't think a UFO feels appropriate. I don't know why, but it does. Oh my god! They're hot springs. Splush. Oh, they're fun! Oh, are they like... Based on like their temperature? Splish splash in the water. If you don't mind me, I'm gonna go jump in the water. It's such a strange feeling to be reunited with you beyond death. Bandits, what are they called? Oh dear, I completely forgot to introduce them. Over here is Mukumat, Val Resolve of Toliola. Beside her is Graha Tia, my colleague in the suits of Alisayan. And this is Kriyan, an adventure, though that hardly does her justice. She is the most dependable of friends to whom I owe my life. My bird. We clearly have a great deal of things to give, don't we, dear? Oh, yes, yes, we do. Our heartfelt gratitude to you all. He's awkward about this, too. The 
It's one thing to know about your kid as a, a child, but not the smoothest of beginnings, is it? If only we had some pipple to ease away, am I right? Whoa! Whoa! Right in the middle of my cutscene! How dare you! You couldn't wait till after my cutscene? Okay, God, fuck. Let me. Let me. Let me switch over. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like I wanted to watch the cutscene anyway. That's a lie. I was watching the cutscene. I want. I... Connecting the data center. Okay. I was worried for a second it was like gonna completely like go. Whoops. Oh, they logged me out and then logged me back in. Fuck. I'm afraid it was a random disconnect. I think. I hope. The reason why I'm in technical difficulties is because I do have other characters on Corral, but I, those are for personal, I don't want to like, I don't want other people to know about type vibes. Oh, people in queue. Probably because it's the middle of the fucking night in North America. Uh. One day, we'll get back in. One day, they'll let me in. I'm shaking the bars of my cage. Oh, thank God. There we go. Okay, we're just going to skip through half of this cutscene because we've already seen like half of it. We can't skip all of it because we haven't watched all of it. Okay, okay, cool. I, it's the funniest thing is I'm the only hour I've seen this entire expansion amongst any of the new NPCs. I think it's deeply amusing me that no one's been like, what the fuck are you? I, I'm an hour. Don't worry about it. I'm from across the sea. Okay, here we go. If, if we disconnect here, I'm going to cry. I believe we had some super pool to ease away, am I right? Wait, that's not a bad idea. Hey, are you hungry? We could reason you something to eat if you like. Oh, uh, thank you, but we're fine. No, it's quite here by the sp hot by the springs. Something cold would be lovely. I understand, we'll fetch you all the treats, I'll help kill you off. I want it to be a bother, but... You will count on me. Think nothing of it. This is what friends are for. Thank you. We shall look forward to the cool treats. Where we're going. As well conceived, we'll come up. Hey, I'm just putting what I learned in Yaktel to use. If I had, if I demanded a, a potential problem, however, is that food here tastes like, like nothing to the living. Seriously, I had no idea. So it appears perfectly enjoyable for the endless. I'm going along with this idea. Like Cryo likely understands this. I might not instantly break the ice, but I'm hopeful that I'll bring the help to the thought. So shall we split up and look forward to what Al Alayla requested? Something cold, ironically. This is going to be a special moment, so why I say we go to the best treat there is. One that'll be believe in oppression. The locals ought to be able to recommend something. If you want to ask people near the earth, right, Karan, brought here and I'll do the same other elsewhere. Pow. I didn't even realize I could just walk this way. Also, this is, this is how the game was gonna, like... <laughs> Sorry, stop. I stopped. Look! It's Florid Man. You add an A, add to the end of Florid. It's Florida, man. 
Sorry. Oof, after a long hot soap like that, I'm going to need a gold star ice cream. What? You don't know gold star ice cream? It's only the popular, most popular treat here in Eslay Volcano. Well, it's a little tricky to took into. You can't come here and not try it. There's a stall just in the southwest, so you'll have no excuse. Poultry the limited impression? That's a difficult one. As the volcano is home to fighters, so the foot here is mostly the hardy and filling kind. Oh, right. There's a popular stall in the southwest that might just have what you're after. Why don't you take a look? Is this southwest? Is this the southwest? Hmm, what sack to have today? Eh, you have one of recommendations for something tasty and cold? We sell those MA, that sort of, that sort of thing, I'm afraid. I'm seeing them something cold. I could use a nice drink for with my snack. Maybe I'll get a coffee. Actually, a tea might be better, or even lemonade. Ah, but I can't go past the beer. Yeah, let's make it a white beer today. Okay. How southwest? Okay, that's a lot more southwest than I was expecting. Let's go. Ba, 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 ba. Flavian. Sorry, I got shook. Hey, so you're here too. Everyone I spoke with recommended gold star ice cream. Those colorful balls stacked on top of each other. That'd be the ice cream I take it? Oh, right there. I can see the appeal, but it's pretty hard to deliver it intact. We need three servings, so let's get Graha to help carry one. We're talking to a transportation expert. We can do it alone? Well, there do some vessels for carrying three. Are you sure about this? Great. Well, definitely safer. They're definitely safer in your hands than in mine. I'll go until Graha everything's taken care of. I'll see you back at the springs. I can do it. Hello there. Would you care for our famous gold star ice cream? All right, three servings coming right up. There you go. You'll be what you'll want to be quick so it doesn't melt. But also be care careful so it doesn't collapse. Good luck and enjoy. We'll go straight through the wildlife. Trial, I already have it. I'm here. That took like maybe 10 seconds. Goodness me, what an amazing looking treat. Thank you so much, Kiran. Uh, it does look good, but I'm mad that it probably doesn't taste like shit. It just tastes like nothing. Air. Never did we imagine that such a reward awaited us. Is that a Kupo pom pom on the top? Uh, yes. Oh, don't mind your father. Like me, he's still getting used to seeing you all grown up. This is just excruciating. Yes, well, a 20 year blank is not so quickly filled. And it's certainly been longer for them. Even uh. so, there's got to be something we can do. You know, I think I might have an idea. Uh oh. <laughs> Is Graha going to be annoying little brother mode? Oh, there he's going. He's off. Raha? <laughs> annoying little brother mode. We're both like, okay. What is he doing? He's initiating annoying little brother mode. <laughs> I 
Um. Oh, you, you needn't force yourself. It doesn't taste of anything to the living, surely. No, no, it, it's delicious. Liar. I mean it. I've never tasted anything so good. <laughs> it really does Amazing. much better when we're all together. Yes, indeed. My grandma, do your over exaggerate thumb up, no down. <laughs> I'm suddenly craving dessert. How about you? I can whoop something up. Give me some ice crystals, I can whip some shit up for us to eat. <laughs> Truly. We've never felt so happy in all our lives. We don't know how to thank you. But at the very least, we can give you some answers. You've risked so much and come so far for them after all. Well... Tis our understanding you are researching a power called interdimensional fusion. Will you tell us about it? To begin at the very beginning, there is a legend passed down by our people, the Milala. Mm -hmm. In the distant past, we abided in a different world. Our homeland was a paradise of eternal summer. The flowers were always in bloom. Mm. Until, that is, the great calamity. Oh, shit. Oh, this is long time ago. As those around them froze to death, our ancestors looked to a mighty relic for salvation. By its power, they opened a portal and used it to flee to another reality. Okay. So... If I remember right, the Calamity of Ice was like, that, for that region, it was like either the first or the second one. Like, this is long fucking time ago. Like. Actually, I can talk. I'll look it up later. ...than that relic. And it has been in the safekeeping of our people since time immemorial. Yes. When lightning threatened this world, we attempted to use the key to flee again, like our ancestors once did. I'm guessing that didn't go very well. Alas, no matter what we tried, we couldn't invoke its power. We had all but given up when preservation approached us with an offer of partnership. Desperate as we were, we accepted their help, only to later discover their ulterior motive to plunder other worlds of ether. Seeking to frustrate their plans, we defected from the Order. And as their agents closed in on us, we seized control of the prototype gate and activated it. What followed, you already know. We sent our daughter and the key through the portal, entrusting them to the men we encountered. You were born with an unusual gift, you see. Upon learning of it, preservation sought to subject you to experiments. Wait, did she have the echo from the get-go, or...? An unusual gift? Yeah. The echo, I dare say. I guess he probably being around during the calamity. Uh, a, cl uh, a it's really close to an umbral calamity would probably do it. Our people, the Milala. Are there any ways I might learn more about them? There are. Such as visiting the cavern inside the volcano. Our ancient homeland has been recreated there. While it's intended to serve as an entertaining diversion, it ought to teach you a thing or two about our history and traditions. May we go there? Selfish though it may be, I should love to learn of my ancestors. Of them, and of the legacy my parents entrusted to me.
Sure, by all means. As it happens, it's on the way to our destination. Well, Carl, do you know what this means? You're not allowed to die next expansion. You have to wait at least two expansions before you're allowed to die. Man, I should talk about them. They're, they're probably disappearing soon, so... You'll have good hearts. I do our support to friends like you. You've gone through much trouble for us. What, carrying ice cream? That was nothing. I've done far worse, for far less. <laughs> We are almost to the uh, cave. Karan, Raha, Lamati. With your help, I was able to not only bond with my parents, but know the joy of sharing a meal with them besides. For that and so much else, I thank you. Oh. As my parents told us, the cavern inside the volcano is a place for learning about the Milala's ancient homeland. But probably it would yield other information as well, namely information on preservation. Preservation. Scientists are re researching interdimensional fusion. And prior to that, created the Endless. As living with memory is likely also their creation, I expect they would carefully curate any vehicles concerning themselves. But we should keep an eye out nonetheless. I'm all for it, of course. Seeing as the key once belonged to the Balala, I can't help it couldn't hurt to learn about them. Right then, let's head inside. Whoa. Actually, let's let's read what they say. Fabir Valencia Malala, which is in the past the law abided in peace upon islands uh, islands of eternal summer. Which you never visited the bountiful land and the flowers ever bloomed in all the colors of the rainbow. But such a idyllic lay days did not last. We just went soon the westerly wind whistling wind had turned cold, the sea suddenly froze over. From the fish in the water to the birds in the sky, all the animals soon perished. The unnatural weather continued with no, seemingly no end, and one by one the Malala fell until the death toll was beyond counting. Those who lived still could not, do not but pray as they held together for precious warmth. The Malala are the keepers of mighty relic passed down through the ages. Malala has the appearance of a crystal, but whose man it was wrought is unknown. When a great calamity froze their isles, the speaker, their spiritual leader, fervently prayed to the relic for salvation. And after their prayers, the relic opened for them a golden path, one that shone like the light of dawn, and through it they fled into a new, a new land. The panel bears information on the history of Malala. Since ancient times, the Malala have excelled in calculations. By using formulae and figures to represent all natural phenomena, they had, they had succeeded in devising a unique system of magic. This group gift proven value in their new homeland, where they employed their calculation to etch archon circuits upon the ore, which later came to be known as Electrope. Through this ingenious technique, Electrope was transformed to a tool that could only store lightning and convert it into energy of any element. Steamed for their excellence in the study of Electrope, the Malala were favored by the rulers of many a nation. So belonging them have attempted to evoke the power of their ancient, of their ancient relic to return to their homeland, but their efforts are to no avail. Never again has the golden path opened that allowed the answers to flee to safety. Eventually the Catholic came to be forgotten, and some now question whether it actually existed. Oh boy, uh, you're not gonna be able to go back because it's gone. It's, it's been gone. Quite a mysterious little atmosphere here. Is this what the Malala home one line was like? Ding ding, correct. Ooh. Work robot jump scare. Well, what's going on? The intro of the Malala people is recreated here in exacting detail thanks to the marvel of Electro. 
Skill alone has been adjusted in order to accommodate folk of all proportions. Ah, but I have little thing to introduce myself. I am the guide for this facility, the steps of the speaker. It shall be my pleasure to assist you as you embark upon your educational journey. Ah, oh, our tour guide. Okay, tour guide. Lead the way. There's even a guide. How considerate. Alright then, so we want as we wonder about there's if there's anything we do not understand, we'll be certain to ask you. Just incorrect. Visits to our facility take the form of a quiz uh, quiz tour. So correct or answer is follow the instruction of your guide. That's yours truly. I'll take a pain in the ass. I'm sure it'll be both enlightening and entertaining. Let's have them guide us. Let's go! I guess. Very good, madam. I have registered the four of you as visitors. Please proceed the ground your passageway to the chamber beyond. Okay. Is it gonna ask me questions? Is this is this Am I gonna have to do pop quizzes? I hate pop quizzes. I'm so bad at them. Why would you do this to me, game? Ooh, shiny. If I may have your attention. You stand within the shrine of the Malala, a migrant people who roamed until they found a new lands to call their own. According to folklore, they originally hailed from a paradise of eternal summer. Alas, they had no choice but to abandon when a great calamity froze the very seas. Speaker bear spiritually to guide them to safety. And she is enshrined here with the sacred relic she wielded. In this place, they perform rituals dedicated to the dream that one day they may re might return to their ancestral home. Sacred relic, that must be the key used to initiate interdimensional fo fusion. Interdimensional fusion? If such a wondrous power existed, I could only imagine what great feats it would be used to achieve. Now then, it's time for a history quest. Oh, here we go. There are four braziers in, in this room, each of which is com committed by a panel bearing a statement. We believe a statement is true, they mislead its brazier by operating the panel. Simple, yes. Without further ado, please nominate your representative and begin. That objection will have to do the honors. Go on, take a look at the panels, my friends. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Oh no. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's wrong. Oh, I, I read the stuff. Okay, cool. No. So. Remember, slide the razors with, with some statements you believe are true. Are your parents to be judged? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Very well. Then let the judging begin. You have answered correctly. I know your very first attempt besides. Amazing! Great work, Crown. I knew you could do it. Taking a face value, the information here would suggest that the Malala had simply migrated from a distant land. We know better. We are aware of the uses of shard worlds, umbral calamities, and interdimensional fusion. For an event that froze the seas, the fifth- oh, that was the fifth one. What was the first ones I was thinking of? Was that a water one or a wind one? I was- The fifth umbral calamity was mine, that which ensured in the age of, age of endless frost. A legend holds that during that age, the entire population of South I Sea Islands vanished overnight. Grand, in the course of your adventures, might you have learned aught of this legend? Wait. Are the Malala originally from- Are they originally from the source? Okay. Not only did you visit a shrine of the forgotten people of Alo Alo, but you did battle with a statue and the speaker as well? Things you get up to never cease to amaze. The art of Arcanum- Car Arcan Arcanian too traces its routes to the calculations of sea South Sea Islands Islanders. While we cannot outright conclude that these people were the Malalas, there are at least enough points of similarity to support the theory. Hem, if you have moves, moves to your satisfaction, let's move to the next chamber. Another quiz awaits. Ugh. 
Yeah, but also... Damn. How many of these prisons are there? Yeah, no, but... Okay, so I thought they were from a shard. It sounds like they're from the source? Okay! Okay, then. Whatever you say, video game. Orb. Ponder orb. No, leave me alone! Real fast, I'm gonna go. Oh, I have to go up. No, bro, I'm gonna just. Oh, ether current! This is the first ether current I've seen today. Come to me, little current. I just want you. Yeah. Okay. I'm going a little insane if it was not obvious. We've come to this, the most enigmatic location of the museum. While well, as known as the speaker's rest, everything else remains a mystery. No one knows what purpose it served, not even the, the Malala themselves. That's rather curious. Is it a no? Someone suggested this place is clearly the creation of the facility's designer. That didn't actually exist in the Malala homeland. It's really believed, however, that the dormants upon the wall are masks that represent the emotions of men. And that brings us to the final quiz. The answer is simple. How many types of masks are there? Last one already. Hmm, so I told you that's going to be as simple as it sounds. Please take all the time you require. I should be here when you're ready to answer. But to begin with, there is one, two, three, four here. I'm going to go first person. This might be easier for first person. Wait. Wait. No, there's three down here. Or five? Mm -hmm. Five. I'm gonna say there's five. Somebody kind of messed up there. How do you determine the answer? Five. I'm saying that with full confidence. What? <laughs> That's incorrect. I'm afraid to try cutting head or just go with your heart. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four. I swear I saw a different one. Am I insane? I feel like I'm insane. I feel like I'm insane. Fucking take four. If you say four, that's wrong, I'm going to set you on fire. So answer is four. How about everyone else? Seriously? I thought it was six. I care, I also believe it is four. As do I. The correct answer is... Four! Congratulations to the three of you! Damn it, where the hell did I mess up? I have to close the quiz door and sit on the speaker. I thank you for your visit today. You can look forward to your next. Uh huh. Sure, buddy. Finished at last. Gods, I am exhausted. Pat, 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 pat. If the legend is true, the Malala were refugees from the source. But what is this relic of theirs that can bridge worlds? Who made it? And to what end? That's a good question. Was it an Asian? Was it someone else? Who? Much about the key remains shrouded in mystery. By augmenting it with Electro, Preservation did succeed in opening a portal. Yet, they could never grasp how they had managed to do so, much less the underlying principles of the technology. It's from the source. Hmm. That's probably why it connects the shard to the source, is that it's originally from the source. Today, not a single person understands the mechanics of interdimensional fusion, let alone who imbued the key with its power, when they did so, or why. But remember this, the key is a tool, 
And like all tools, in and of itself, it is a force for neither good nor evil. Once taken in hand, however, its capacity for both is made plain. In delivering one man, it may doom another, making a lie of its bearer's every good intention. Bean. As did preservation, Queen Seen seeks to wield the key in the name of those she loves, and in so doing, makes her people party to the destruction of countless souls. We have told you all we can. To be able to share this with you at the last, it feels as though we fulfilled our purpose. You've come to shut down the terminal. Yes, we have. But perhaps there's another way, one that doesn't require the terminal's deactivation. For the longest time, we've sought a means to erase ourselves before our knowledge could be used for ill. And in you, we have found it. So press on. Press on. And don't look back. Oh. I will. Um, may I ask you one last question? Of course, my dear. The earring. Why did you leave it with me? Because, Kryl, we wanted to see you again. Well... This may seem self-serving, but... We wanted to leave a trace of ourselves with you. A hint to guide you to us, so that we could live in hope. We've dreamed of this day for so long, but now that it's become reality, we wonder if we deserve to enjoy it. We wanted naught but the best for you. Yet, we've always wondered how much you might have suffered in our absence. Do not torment yourself so. As fate would have it, you entrusted me to a good man. His name is Galaf. And he raised me as his own. What's more, I've been blessed with the finest comrades anyone could have. It's thanks to you that I am here now, hale and happy. So please, be at peace. Be at peace. Mother. Father. <laughs> you already have a beautiful name, but if we might call you by the one we gave you? Maya, our dearest Maya. We love you more than life itself. Maya. My, my name. My name is Maya. Are you sure about this? You can leave the terminal to us, you know. No, I must do this. Kryl, Maya, Baldessian must press on. 
press on and... <laughs> Farewell, mother. Farewell, father. So give me give me two seconds. Give me give me two seconds, Cryo. Give me give me two, give me a second. I just want to get as much of the map as possible, so I have to deal with it later. see them down there anymore. I mean, come in, you crown. I've been anxious ever since I chose to accompany you to Tural. Well, I was afraid of what I might discover. Perhaps I'd learned nothing, or worse, that my parents didn't love me. Well, now I know the truth and I could be happier. I'm glad I took up Pictomancy. I'm glad I must master up the courage to say that I want to join you. Thank you, Kron, for trusting me with your life and walking with me all this way. Well, that's all I wanted to say. We'll see this through. Father, we'll see this through together. My apologies for giving you. Come, let's catch up with the others. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, let's look. Let's look at it before it gets, uh, fucking booked. Oh, it's already doing it all the way down there. <sighs> oh, are you still working on the book nook? Panic. Take a deep breath. Don't lose your se yourself to the rage just yet. Oh shit, yo. It is outside? It is outside. It's only small parts. Yeah, that sounds about right. This area left. <laughs> and poor Arabelle's gonna have a fucking bad time. It's his turn to suffer! As we all have. Yeah, you know, I was expecting this expansion to be lighthearted and happy and just a fun little romp in the Wild West! No! It fucking is it! It's- do you- would you like- would you like to be sad? About characters you weren't sad about before? Now you can! Yay! And I'm like, no, no, no! Stop! My happiness!
pineapple. It's called a fucking pineapple? Amazing. I love it. This has told me all. I'm glad Crowd could beg her parents a proper farewell. Now, I then, to ask this question for the second to the last time, are you ready to shut down the terminal? Alright, let's go. Where's Aaron, though? He's missing. You know how to do it. I do. Here we go. Alright, go for it. Oh well, at least Kyle got closure. That's the important part. You think any of the others are any of the people in the other zones that notice what's going on are like, uh, what's going on? Oh, she's drinking the water again. Serial made more, more rock than the others. Well, you took your time getting here, buddy. <laughs> Panic, do you not realize? Do you not realize we've been going through our party? Raha was the, the canal town. Wuklumat was the uh, little castle town. Uh, this town's Kryle, and uh, the other area is going to be Erinville just by process of elimination. Are you all right, Kyle? I am. I chose to forgo to forge on no matter what. And I've had the courage to do so because of you all. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. Very right, There we go. Oh boy. I must say, the closer we get to the end, the faster time seems to pass us by. Come, let's head to the fourth and final zone. By now you know how to get there, yes? Now we do. Excellent. This time I'd like to quickly check on the mezzo terminal, so I'll meet you at the gate of remembrance. Come on, everyone. Yeah, better cherish the time we've got. Woo! Technically, she's already dead. This is like... A... F Freaked out a little, lost a small piece. Oh no, you like actually lost it, or you just you thought you lost it? Found it though. Okay, okay. All right, guys, I can know still some leeway with the Bezo terminal. Maybe you carry on getting to know the endless in the last sound. Wind's Path Gardens. It's called, and it's breathtakingly beautiful. That's where your memories are stored, yes. That's right. I left a for last so I could guide you for as long as possible. Very thoughtful of me, yes? Oh, a great idea just occurred to me. What might that be? I'll save it for after we arrive on the other side. See you there. One of these days, I want to see your, like, just poof. Our great ideas are generally less than great. Hey, Aaron, Bell. As much as we can grant your mother her wish, I also want to respect yours. When all's said and done, I want you to be happy. I know you. I hope. I hope you know this. I know. I know. Um, floor. Rest in peace. 
Hey, at least you didn't step on it. Shikawa isn't only her mother. She's his mentor as well. That could only make it harder for him to say goodbye. Let's go. For now, we keep going doing what we've been doing. Seeing out endless and learning what's dear to them. Verification system initialized. User registration confirmed. Greens and Wilkley Woods Path Gardens, the sanctuary of exploration and discovery. The marvels of the natural world await you. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Okay. I'm curious to see how many plus we've got left. Four, three, four. Oh. If I could have everyone's attention. I know we have pressing business, but I'd like to say a few words. Mm -hmm. Before I died, I had two wishes. The first was to see who my Elaneshpia would become. I would say that wish has been fulfilled. Indeed, it has. For the boy who once shunned company has returned a somewhat sociable man, surrounded by wonderful friends. <laughs> I just wanted you to make friends, boy. As his mother and mentor both, I couldn't be more proud. As for my second wish, hmm, that was to see all manner of nature that I had never seen before. Ma. I hoped to explore every corner of the world and there find thriving life. <laughs> but I didn't even get to see all of Tural, did I? <laughs> Never enough hours in a day, or days in a year, or years in a life. How did you even die? Illness? That's the only thing you think of. Oh, don't give me that look. Though, admittedly, I did go and spoil the mood. Apologies. Mm. What I was so poorly trying to work up to asking was this. I want you to help me fulfill my second wish. How? Oh. I have a good feeling about this place. There is so much here I've never seen before. I just know it. We'd love to see it with you. I thought you might say that. Thank you. Winspath Gardens is home to a collection of flora and fauna that once thrived on the continent. Like the rest of the <laughs> memory, I haven't explored it in earnest. There's my minion. Controlling my vessel demanded all of my attention. But at long last, I'll get to meet the creatures here. Wrap things up with a perfect little adventure. So, shall we? Absolutely not. No. Here we go. To your wish, and then what? You leave. You cannot ask that of me. Oh, Ellen Nespier. Please understand. I just wanted to end on a happy note. Not only for myself, but for all of us. Better that than a sad goodbye, surely.
Wah. Aaronville's already having a bad time. He's like, I don't want to be here anymore. Can I go home? And with your consent, let's begin our adventure. Naturally, while we go all about this, hope you can continue for finding endless. Be sure to absorb the delightful scenery. Yes, I will indeed absorb it. Watch me, watch me. Watch me chew on it like it's cardboard. This particular garden is called Blooms of Discovery. Beautiful, isn't it? I can't wait to get the credits for me to ball my fucking eyes out again. Can't wait! It'll be exciting and wonderful, and I'm sure I will. <sighs> it's absolutely stunning. And uh, they are they are all actual plants? They are indeed. These specimens were brought here hundreds of years ago for conservation, as the calamity had pushed them to bring of extinction. So this show is is like a great conservatory. Precisely, my dear Kyle. Well, you'll find flora and fauna legs of which no longer exist elsewhere. Then the thought just set your heart aflutter. I suppose. So I expect that the that some that some creatures I encounter outside for all may have cousins in this world. While well, I'm no expert on life and the reflections, it would make for an interesting study to prepare them. Now there's an idea! Leave it to my people to think up such... Here we have not only a world's travel adventure, adventure leader, but a pair of Charlene's finest scholars both sides. It's a favorable gathering of inquisitiveness, and I'm thrilled to be part of it. Oh, I have to pick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So begin with, I'd like you to scout out the vicinity and report back with any points of note. This would be a good opportunity to speak with the locals. They're bound to be familiar with the area, after all. As Aaron Bill suggested, it would be very interesting to compare the creatures here with those native in the source. I never adventured outside Toral, so look forward to your insights. Just leave it to us. I've only been to Charlie and myself, but I like think I know interesting when I see it. We're almost done. We're are, we are so we are clo closing on the finish line of this game expansion. And I can't wait to get the cause I'm because usually after the credits they'll have some stuff that is like tied to like future stuff i'm excited specimen ver observing endless well, hello there what am i doing you ask look at the trunk see the plants within the capsules those specimens that either that either can't survive but wouldn't spark wind's path gardens or would become invasive and disrupt the ecosystem uh, the capsules require the question the conditions they the conditions they require from tropical to frigid climes while keeping them isolated. In this way, any and all plant life can be preserved forever, just like ourselves. It's a rainbow! Woo! Gosh. I'm sorry to get really tired, but but we'll keep going. See who's remarking about the resemble stream stand in the twelve woods. Let's see. Flower garden appears to be meticulously maintained, if not by endless and by machines. Do you 
Apparently, even the water here is afraid of using Electro. The initial product is too pure, though, and the dish is something made so the composition resembles what's found in the natural environment. That's just one of the main things they do to create the ideal conditions for these plants to thrive. I don't know what's become of the world outside the barrier, but I should like to visit a lovely spot such as this in my life. Hey, lovely spots. Have you been to the top of this lookout here? It's a great vantage point, and there's even a foot stall in case you get hungry. Ma'am, you're dead! You can never see what's outside the barrier. Sorry. Sorry. Wow, my level is only three higher than the gear I had for earlier. Oh man. Well, actually, what is my it's my yeah. My answers are actually Alexandria, the help from a place called Conde P Petty. He had some unique customs for his instance when green so he had to say Lolly Ho! The spirit of Mander. Our settlement was famous for a gigantic tree that grew nearby. It was so enormous that they used to stand at its base. It was covering the ground would be on the horizon. The terminal here at Wind's Path Gardens is apparently inspired by that very tree which the Lipa tree was named. It may not be real, but it's nice to have this memento for posterity. Lolly Ho? Like this? Damn. Uh, I was kind of hoping they'd have like a special uh, response. Like have the character go, Whoa, lolly ho! That's so authentic! How did you know? I know things. I, I, yeah, I attuned. <laughs> Actually, is the oh, it's up there. I see it. No, I know that's not it. Wait, isn't the big? It's in that big green tree, huh? Oh, there we go. Ah, welcome back, Huron. Crowd just delivered to me a most fascinating report. You have some engaging impressions to share too. I hope. Also, apparently, it's the one from the uh, that shard who did Lolly Hopes. Is that significant? Yes, it's from another shard. Well, well, that's very, it's all very interesting indeed. But I must say, I'm most fascinated by the undulating trees. Well, there are similar creators in Ikopaka. Can you tell me more about these trees? Do you know them? They are very subspecies, so as though those with red leaves or a gnarled look. Sometimes they throw acorns at me. Is that so? Well, it makes sense they would adapt to their environment in that fashion. I imagine they would need careful management to flourish, such as having specific varieties of trees around them. Management ecosystem. That calls them my labyrinthos, is it not? That it does. Thus, you wonder if Labyrinthos is a storage facility deep within Char beneath Charlian that contains a recreation of a temperate climate zone. Such a place exists? Amazing. By the by, did anyone else kind of catch sight of a large scale kin? A large scale kin, you say? What does it look like? Oh god, I didn't see anything. Nothing I have ever seen, I've seen before, but it has a rodent like form, walks on all fours. If it looks like a rodent, wouldn't that make it a bee skin? Nope, it's covered in scales. Ones up here to make mimic succulent plants. By that, I would definitely could classify as a scale kin. Is this where I pick up my menu and go like this? Well, it's hard to say for certain without seeing it. Why don't you show me? Very well. It was a flower field earlier. It should still be near. So over there then. We find out. We'll see who's right. Two of you should come along to and let us your opinions. 
Pretty sure I know what it is. Go on ahead, Karen. I'll let the others know and then join you. I'm pretty sure it's just my little guy. I'm pretty sure it's just this little guy. Look at him. Look at my little guy. I'm going to make their argument worse. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh, rest in peace. My fucking... Well, my recording stopped. Uh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is what I was worried about. Uh... Sorry. There we go. I'm being chased. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Well, here's the hoping. But there are no crashes and nothing bad happens because I'm going to be pulling. I'm going to have to pull the, this. This bot from Twitch then. Which sucks because it's usually lower quality, but whatever. What can you do? Yeah, it's, it's just my minion. It's about resembling the a keyboard you encountered in the first. That's the one there. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the argument where it's I'm gonna call it say it's seed kin. I see, I see. At a glance it surely has a look of both scale kin and beast kin. Let's examine it more closely, shall we? Tell me your observations. It has definitely no paws. It has pointy snout. It's covered in plant-like scales. I mean, that was also the first thing I noticed. As I say, those scales are for hiding in foliage. Oh, it's going after its cute little tail. Don't come back! Having said it, I believe that the scales upon its back are in fact a unique form to a unique form of hide. Rather than being shed, it grows with the creature. Hmm, you might be right. Due to that, along with its other characteristics, such as the space and hands, it's more likely to be a beastkin, like you said. This an examination we needed to confirm beyond doubt, but I'm satisfied simply to have seen it. Seems you alone were familiar with the species. Where you encounter it? From the first, which you have never seen and never will. The fairy kingdom of the first? I have one that follows me around. Fred has been to the very edge of existence. She has seen life that others could only imagine. Amazing. Creation truly holds no end of mysteries. Oh, how I'd love to see them all. Life beyond the bounds of our star and playing both. Looks like we're having fun. Ah, hearing about the unknown never fails to arouse me. I felt the same way when Kitten Ram and Gallop trained me to tales of their travels. You've been my grandfather, too. Oh, didn't I already mention it? It was when Gal came to Tara to investigate the Golden City. I happened to have business with Guluja. Jaja. Guluja. So we met in Tulliol. Tulliol. didn't know that the tiny baby he was cradling would return as you. The things are past that already crossed all those years ago. Not only yours and mine, either. Anvil is there too, you know. I don't remember. It's quite fine if you don't. It's actually because Gallop told me about Charlie and I later urged Arendelle to take up weaning. My fussy bun bun was growing up dour with Ron. That was when I was at my wit's end that I recalled your grandfather's story about gleaners. Seeing the world through their adventures would inspire a change for the better, I believed. I'm sorry I was dour and withdrawn. If you ask me, you still have some work to do. But it's because you're that way that you're with us now, and I, for one, am grateful. Well, let's keep moving, shall we? There's a facility I've been wanting to visit. The Cleria Museum of Nature. There's supposed to have creatures that take you on leisure flights. Just one problem. It seems only three people can fly at one time. 
Then you and Arabel should go. The rest of us have still plenty of other things we can do here. There's, ro there's room for one more. Why don't you come with us, Kiran? Be the, my buffer. If you aren't my buffer, I'm going to scream. Then it's settled. The museum is at the bottom of the ramp that runs west of Enoid Arrow. Come on. We've almost hit eight hours. Eight hours. If we include the like two hours I streamed earlier, that means I've streamed ten hours today. So I hope you realize if I am weird or weirder than usual, it is because I am I am tired. <laughs> But I would like to finish the MSQ tonight. Also because it would be really fucking stupid to do to stop here and then finish tomorrow. I, I cause I'm pretty sure we're like almost done done here. Um I just feel like it would be really stupid. You feel me? You feel me? Cool. I'm glad we're on the same page. Let's move on. Look at all these wind sprites. I'm going to smush them with my fists. Oh, is it down there? Okay. Ah, oh, you won't let me fucking go down? God, fine. Game won't let me do it the fun way. <gasps> Can you do it the fun way now? Yay! Ow, my legs. Capybara. Capybara! Here it is, the Clearia Museum of Nature. The main building is closed due to the ether shortage, but happily they're still offering leisure flights. And these are the fellows that will bear us. How adorable! They don't look capable of flight. Ah, come now, you know better than judge a creature by its, its appearance. This will be great, I just know it. Mm -hmm. I tried about something over there uh, on my in game chat. I'm begging your pardon, but this is where you go on leisure flights, yes? Indeed, it is. Bearing you will be our adorable Mihiwa Byrus, who are especially, especially trained by a Tarali friend. Just say the word and we'll send you up and away. And there you have it, shall we then? I wish to fly. You ready? Then go ahead and mount up. We meet here with Baras, fly a set route, so you can only relax and enjoy the view. Aha! How exhilarating! I'll be damned, they really do fly. Yeah, the way we're flying from Rangers, why don't, don't we look like I'm migrating birds? Except we're on giant rodents. Speaking of migrating birds, the mullard was where your name comes from. Did I ever tell you that? That I knew, but I learned it from the shamaness, not from you. A myrine bird would fly anywhere it desires, even across oceans to distant continents. And you've done that, just that, my clever mollard. I think you've got to call me that. I'll let her have this, man. She's not gonna have much longer to play you silly names. Oh dear, is it over already? Time really does fly when you have fun. What a joy to see a living memory from up high. Ooh, the whale. I want to put my hand on it. I want to touch it. I I always have this urge whenever I see anything that's like remotely hologram-like, and I just feel like I just I touch it, you know? It's weird. I don't. Sorry. Uh, that was wonderful. An experience worth saving for the very end. You two enjoy yourselves as well, I trust. It was enjoyable enough, I suppose. For my fussy bun button, that's high praise. I'm glad I invited you and Kira. Thank you for indulging me. 
If I could, I'd go for another hundred rides, but I must sell for the one. So we head to the Arrow Terminal. If there are things, is it still things you wish to do? Well, we better do them now. When you're ready, make, way your, make your way along the path yonder. I'll find the others and let them know up the same. Buddy, you gotta stop being sulky. You gotta stop sulking. You're gonna regret it, buddy. She's only a fast and like scripture from her memories. I understand this. But when she's right there as alive and spirit as I have ever known her, how am I, what am, how am I supposed to do it? How am I supposed to embrace her? Does she even know, know how it tears me apart? I want to poke it so bad. No, I will refrain. Here we go. Delightful this has been. Not since my journey with the Dawn Serpent have I enjoyed myself so. No, I'm selling it short. This was even better. Poor Blue Jaja. And that's because I was able to share this adventure with my darling boy. Well, you're making it harder for him, you know. Well. This is as far as I can go. As for the rest? Just stop. You're doing it again. Deciding everything by yourself, and then disappearing. Ellen Espion, you're my pupil, so you ought to understand. Everything that lives must one day die, and that which has died isn't meant to return. This is the way of nature. Mine is an unnatural existence, and I've suffered it only because I had to unmake this twisted mausoleum. But now that brave souls have appeared to whom I might entrust my mission, I may finally embrace the end. Can't you be happy for me? How could I be happy? I was actually quite scared, you see. Scared that I'd be trapped inside the barrier forever and denied the thrill of discovery for all my days. Your coming gave me courage and comfort, Elaneshpia. More than you know. And now here I stand, unburdened and free. In this moment, the happiest of my life. As you wish, mother. I'll continue what you began. You better kill. You were right, of course. Leaving home has broadened my horizons. I've met my friends and found this place. So I bid you leave your dreams with me. And no, I'll go where you couldn't go. 
and do what you couldn't do. I will. It's scared of you. All grown up and dependable. It's gonna make you cry. Look at oh, oh, every fucking time they bring add more story, they're like, oh yeah, here's here's another way for us to rip out your fucking heart. Hope you enjoy it. Come on, this is exactly what I was worried about. Well, this is exactly what I was worried about. I was like, this is... <laughs> this is exactly the thing I was worried about. Was the... God, I hope it didn't... Disconnect entirely. Ugh. And wherever your journeys take you, keep me close to your heart, will you? I should like to be there. To see what I haven't seen. You will be, Mother. Can y'all see me? Like, am I am I am I visible? Can you fucking see me? Oh, my things, my things, freaking out. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, mine... Okay, I checked Twitch on my end, and it totally just disconnected. This is exactly why I was so worried about the fucking re recording. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Of course it does it after the fucking recording stops. I'm so... You're kidding me. This is so annoying. Ugh. can't tell if I'm live or not because it's not showing me live being live um now it's showing I'm live oh delightful I fucking love this uh sorry I'm getting distracted by the thing. oh my god now, run along <sighs> and never forget that you're my pride and joy I trust you all can handle the rest. Take care and farewell. I'm worried about. I'm really worried about fucking. Cause my side's still saying that it's not live. I. Oh my god. <sighs> Because my side's not saying I'm live. Now it's saying I'm live. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know what's going on. What the hell? I'm a part of me tempted to stop because I don't know what's going on with with Twitch right now. I can't tell if I'm live properly. And I, I don't have a recording going because the recording stopped recording because there's no more space on your hard drive. And I... <laughs> Which sucks because, uh, fine, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have to stop here because my life is a nightmare. Because <laughs> first it's your, my power going out earlier, we would be, we would have been done like... Two hours ago, at least, if my power hadn't gone out. We would already be done here. But no. <sighs> oh. 
Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna. I'll have to do this in the morning. Um, I don't want to play any games with Twitch right now because apparently my OBS and stuff is disconnecting and stuff repeatedly, and uh, I'm already gonna have to figure out a way uh, to how to cut in this fucking cutscene probably. So you know that's fun. Uh, yeah, there goes stream elements. God. Anyway, yeah, I'm. I'm heading out. I'll see you guys in the morning to finish the freaking MSQ. Anyway, uh, you guys have a good night. Bye. I'm a little frustrated right now. Bye. <laughs>